He's pretty old. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello, Michael. Hello. <laughs> Did not have my camera. All right. On the air. Just adjusting our microphones and everything a little bit. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Hope everyone's looking forward to this stream as much as I am. I think it'll be a good match. Ah. Now you're back. There we go. Now you're there. Yeah, now you're something's there. going on. Everybody's here now. Got the uh, chat working. Anybody in the chat yet? Anybody out there? Kevin O'Neill. Kevin O'Neill's out there in the, uh, the, the place. The things. Exciting game today. Yep, one not be too bad. Hopefully the audio's going all right for you guys. Hopefully the Christmas and the New Year's treated everybody well. Treated us pretty good. Yeah. Get any fun gifts? Oh, no, 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 no. I got a gift of uh, not bad stuff. I got no cold, so that's good. It's always good when you get a cold. Mm -hmm. Always worries me when I get cold. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're having a little technical difficulty with our scoreboard. It's weird for some reason. Ah, we don't need scores. Where are we going? Range. Let's see. <laughs> Got any predictions for this match? What's that? Got any predictions for this match yet? Uh, no, not really. Um, it's uh, a lot of unknown variables at this point, I would say. Don't really know which way uh, things can go. There's, uh, um, I would say this as far as what to look for. Um, on the screen, you have Jonathan's plane practicing, getting warmed up. Um, his partner, Devin, there are local players out here. They played on this table a few times. Uh, compare that to Thomas and James, who has, has much experience on this table. Um, Thomas has played on it, obviously. Um, has James played on this table? James has not played on the stream, but he's played on this table. Okay. But he's played uh, he's played somebody on this table before, just for uh, not for money, right? <laughs> It's like most of us. Mm -hmm. None of us play on this table for money ever. Certainly don't play one pocket on this table for money. <laughs> Actually, I would love to see some one pocket on this table at least once. Yeah. We haven't seen anybody pull well, out. We've seen, we've seen one pocket one time on this table, I think, right? It was, uh, it was like they had like a set of something and then they ended up going over to one pocket. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so Trapper or Kevin, big talkers today. Hmm. He's predicting uh, 20 to 14. The guy shooting on the team wins now. I'm guessing that's Jonathan Splane is shooting. I, lo I love, I mean, these are actually my favorite predictions. And usually the ones that get the closest. The one is like, I don't know these guys. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say... 120, 20, right? 20 to 14 with the guy shooting, because who knows? Um, so, yeah. You have two local guys. You have two guys that play, you know, different places around Atlanta. You have Thomas, who is a little traveler. So, where is he these days? Uh, where is he these days? Ah, got the scoreboard to work. Ah, sorry, we're, uh, I'm interrupting John as he actually tries to put on a good production for you guys. How about that? Um, James Baker, I see him different places. I'll see him in Arietta, it's this week. In uh, um, Q's 2, Jimmy Tucker. 
He's, uh, he's been around a little bit. We're gonna knock on the door. It's the password for Wi-Fi. Uh, what's the password for Wi-Fi? It's the password for Wi-Fi. <laughs> you, you set it up, I forget. I don't know. Uh, hold on one second, guys. We're gonna turn the lights on. Yeah. You know, the next thing we need to do is have a on the air. <laughs> boxes that light up when you're on the air. <laughs> oh, we do have one of those. No, uh, I mean, we do one yeah, yeah, outside. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll, know. we'll get a we'll get us a nice like on the air box right outside right. the door. Go we'll go to an old radio station that doesn't exist anymore, so you can't steal one. <laughs> <laughs> probably gonna go on Facebook Marketplace probably find one eventually. It's an easy. easy. Uh, Chris Burbage asking the pertinent questions. Who's stealing? That's a typical question I expect from Chris. <laughs> Usually the answer is Chris Burbage, but today he's not playing on stream. Speaking of which, Chris, where are you? Are you not playing on? You should play on stream. You've been playing well. You've been. Uh, I don't want to kill your action, honestly, but yeah, you've been doing. Uh, you've been doing work out there. I see. So yeah, Where's Chris. Chris should be. Lately? I think I think he plays around the Covington area, somewhere like that. And that uh, and outs and abouts. I mean, he plays his, plays different places. I've seen him in many different forums. Uh, most times I've seen him it's around Covington, around uh, um, uh, which uh, over in uh, pockets, pockets, yeah, pockets. Yeah, it's a good place. I like All right, it's going to be a long day, guys. It'll be a long set. This is a race to 20 today. Scotch Chris, Devils race to 20. Chris, you were putting on a tournament somewhere, weren't you, besides Pockets? Weren't you setting up a tournament at Mr. Q's, I believe? Maybe I could be wrong. Okay, so see, that's what happens now that it's so long. This has moved on to bigger and better places. Have we started the match? This looks like the match has started. I believe they just started. Yeah, they, uh, they look like they're actually trying. So, hey, Christmas wishes. Still working on some technical stuff for you guys, but. I, think, uh, I don't think too many people gets Chris White and Chris Burbage confused. But maybe there's other things. And Merry Christmas right back out the picture. Merry Christmas, everyone. I got some new shoes for Christmas. <laughs> Excited about that. Unfortunately, yeah. Santa didn't bring Nisi to, to be on the stream today yet. I'm sure she will be later, though. Chris Burbage is asking, do you think you could find him a match on stream? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I have no pro I'm sure uh, we can find a, some matchup with you. Um, the best thing to do, honestly, is to get you, on the app. Think you can find an even one? The Road Player Glide. Um, and sort of register on it, put your info on it, and look at other people who have their info. Um, that's usually the best way to do it. Um, and then have communications with each other. And, you know, it's the funnest is finding somebody you don't know, finding somebody that nobody knows, and just get up there, step to the box, and play. That's those are usually the best streams. So Mr. Morgan here with a little ducky duck. Playing shape on a, a ducky duck. Not quite. Are you familiar with uh, James that much? With Not really. Uh, I met him the other day for the first time, I believe. I don't think we've ever met before. Okay. Is he a Fargo rate? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Would be worth checking out. I don't think he plays in too many events that are Fargo rated though, so I'd be surprised if he does have one. Or if he does, it probably is not robust enough to make a difference. 
Oh, Ooh, Thomas just yeah, missed Thomas, the football. Thomas went a little fast on that shot. He was like an unusual miss, though. <laughs> How's the sound quality, by the way, everybody? Yeah, I get sound quality okay? Everything sounds good? Yeah, that's a good question. I need to think I'm doing all this talking and only the voices hear me. But like any other stream, it's uh, it's a it's a cold day out there today, isn't it? Oh yeah, I was in uh, Kentucky this morning and it was snowing. Oh my goodness! It was like downpour snowing. Mm. Oh wow! And then John missed one. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see quite a few misses, especially he, early on. He definitely. It seemed like he poked that one. Yeah. He I mean, didn't really stroke it. I like he tried to put draw on it and it didn't go anywhere. And I'm wondering how much these guys have actually had real good warm up time. I mean, I know they've been hit balls, but that doesn't mean that they've been doing. What needs to happen? Yeah, they were downstairs practicing for a minute, but uh, you know, it's not like Shane where you're gonna sit there and practice for eight hours and then go into a tournament. Right, right, right. So, you know, the muscles gotta get loosened up, gotta get relaxed. But at this point, things are looking pretty favorable for the James Thomas team. Uh, so James is coming up. Yeah, James. Uh, James is James is is a really an even keel player. You don't see a lot of emotion from him. I mean, maybe a touch here or there, but he's he's really well focused. Of course, I say that, and he's uh, like he's having a good old time. Yeah. I hate to commentators curse this, but it's no, cool. it's too early for that. Oof. Too early for that. It looked like you pinned to draw that just a little bit more. Than yeah. Time. I mean, of course, the other thing is that, um, with, especially James, but maybe Thomas to the point, they're not quite used to table, so you'll probably see a little bit more conservative shots, conservative strokes, just to make sure that, uh, oh, yeah, that, that was a little dangerous. Mm. But they got away. Did they so, get away with it? James and Thomas, first blood. Yeah, first one up. Yeah, uh, if Nisi could. Um, it, on the Facebook, you could see uh, a link to the app. It's face. I mean, it's uh, Road Player. Not Glide. Dot something. Dot. I'm sure N uh, Nisi would be more happy to put a link up uh, if she could. Yeah, she's uh, she's listening in right now. Yeah, I gotta check something on your team. Uh, I gotta dance. Jerry is uh maybe maybe Nisi is too busy with Jerry right now. Oh, there it is. There's your link. So go to that. Get yourself registered. Look at the players on there. Contact some people. Well, we need. Yeah, we need. Good. We need like guest appearances from our uh, viewers. Jerry in here one day. Let him commentate a little. Let him do the commentary, get him playing. You know. So then again, maybe uh maybe those oh, maybe no, certain no, government no, agencies no. won't let him on stream, you know. Facebook is working on Yeah, I'm just saying maybe uh, you gotta keep that identity hidden a little bit. But, uh, he's a he's a sleeper for sure. Yeah. What's up, Pat? Thanks for that like, man. I appreciate it. So Thomas dumped Kane. What do you mean Thomas dumped Kane? Yeah, I was kind of curious about that too. He dumped him. They were going out. They, they have a little thing going on together. Well, that was going on. Looks like Thomas took a push. This is kind of interesting right here. You have to take this shot where you push it to, but okay. it's not easy to hold it for the two. Kevin, is it any better with the uh, with the microphones? Too up, too low. What about everybody else? Does it seem too low, or does Kevin have to figure out how to work the volume button yet? Well, we could turn up the volume a little. I just turned it down, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I turned it up a little bit, so maybe that'll help. Mm -hmm. Thomas the Cane here played the last season, remember? Oh, yeah. There. Yeah, well, you know Thomas, Thomas is one of those players. He likes to... Uh, 
you know, play the field a little bit as far as his partners. So, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me if he played this season with two or three other partners. He likes Scotch Pebbles, though. Oh, he does. He really does enjoy Scotch Pebbles. He absolutely does love uh, Scotch Pebbles. He does well at Scotch Pebbles, too. He's, uh, I mean, he's. I think that's part of the, the appeal is sort of the, the teamwork, and he does pretty well with stuff like that. He does pretty good in singles, too. Well, we've seen him play Vegas singles mm -hmm. a few times. He did really well. Oh, that is a nice shot. Still can't believe this part is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somehow it just... No, nah, we won't even get into that. Just <laughs> he just, he's had a rough patch. He did really well in Vegas, and then he's just come up he with said, some rough, rough patches at that point. All right, Devin is uh, playing a little tentative there. Oof. Yeah, and he tried to cheat the pocket a little too much. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of an interesting spot, though. Can you throw it in the pocket here? I don't think you can cut it. I don't see why you uh, why really? would cut it. This I mean, it's a thin, super thin, but you can. I think you can just go off the uh, the point enough to make it fall. Get that pretty fat though. I think he actually was trying to bank it. You think so? I think he was trying to bank it cross side. Well, no, he couldn't have done that. Yeah, he couldn't have done it cross side yeah, no, unless you're going off the nipple. No, yeah, you couldn't do that. Yeah, I think he just overcut the ball. Maybe he just got too worried about missing. It's kind of a common mistake when you have to hit a ball super thin. There's that little part of your brain that thinks that, well, if I miss it completely, I get the ball in hand. And that's a lot worse than just missing a shot. So a lot of times people can't overcompensate a cut like that. And you got to get over that. I mean, if you're going to cut balls thin, you got to accept the fact that if you miss, you're going to get the ball in hand and not care. This is kind of interesting right here, though, because Devin's really got to give him good shape on this four ball to be able to break out the seven. I think he breaks it out here. No. He should have. You're right. He yeah, I thought should've. he would have gone behind it, gone into the, uh, trying to go into the eight. Because now you have to worry about going off the rail and into behind the seven ball. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, yeah, maybe he could have left a little bit more of an angle. Maybe he's going to try to break out the seven. No, I don't think he's, I don't think he's got the angle to break it out. He's got the angle to break it out right here. He's got to really not throw really it. not well. You're stretching too. Yeah, you have to really hit on the right side of that eight ball, which is kind of hard. Yeah, but man, if you, uh, I mean, there's just that is that is fraught with danger. Oh, frick. oh yeah, that's definitely. I mean, if it if it rolls under your you know between the rail and the balls, I mean, you are you're toast. You might as well be walking around a prison at nighttime. At this point, I mean, <laughs> it's, to me, it's not worth taking the risk of because if you do break it out, and miss a shot, well, it's you know, all you're doing is helping your opponents. So. But Jonathan is also very aggressive sometimes, so we may see him attempt it. He just drew it straight back. I think he did attempt it there. Yeah, I think that was an attempt. I think he just shot it a little. He cheated the pocket a little too much and drew it straight back. Yeah, I mean, I think he just shot so straight. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, a, a, that's a brain thing, too, though. Your yeah. brain just goes, hey, fucking asshole, let's shoot straight. Right. <laughs> um, just doesn't work out. <laughs> but, uh,. That was a good save. I will say this. That was a really nice stroke. Nice draw stroke with the bridge. That was a nice draw stroke with the bridge. The bridge. That was a, you know. Scott, letting us know that we are live at Q's. Hey, appreciate it, Scott. Thanks for putting us on at Q's. We appreciate it a lot. Yeah. Oof. I bet, of course, most likely their audio is off, so we could talk trash about Scott. That's true. They might have the closed captions up, though, so... Oh. But the closed captions don't really work super good. I'm about to say, we could start saying Josh, I mean, talk about Scott and then start speaking gibberish, and who knows what will come up on the screen. Oh, that'd be exciting. <laughs> At that point. <laughs> Yoda Nils. Oh, he's a little action with Ricky tonight. He's going to try to break it out again? Uh, yeah. Or, actually, okay, he's just leaving the, the combo. I don't like this combo, though. Um, it's hard to control where the seven goes with this combo. I actually, I don't think it is. I think he, you're going to hit it fat enough that the seven is going to roll towards the other corner pocket down there and try to hold the cue ball. I feel like it's going to roll more towards the nine. I think it's going to stay below the nine. All right, yeah, it's it's okay, well, he's going to the What if? Yeah, I'm hitting that with a nice just touch shot just to hold and try to control everything. I'm trying to draw it that way, it like kind of puts a little bit of uh, forward roll on the seven. Yeah. But, I was thinking more of a... Do that. I'd rather play the safe at that point. Right. I was thinking maybe cut it, maybe cheat the uh, the pocket. 
rail because you can cheat this this tape pretty well off that rail. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, like I think the safe actually is the better option because you can just go off the rail and put the cue ball right behind the A ball. That's true. Should be Gucci. Thanks, Eric. Speaking I appreciate it. Of safes, uh, did he get it? It is tough to tell from here. Yeah, it's hard to tell on the screen. I believe. I mean, I'm sure you could hit it. I think. Uh, actually, I think the the cross side bank is open. Going for the bottom corner or the top corner? No, going for the side. Oh, you think the that, on the side. You think he's got that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. definitely got that one. Yeah, I think he plays. Uh, Ooh, that's a little touchy though, because it's so close to the rail. I worry about the double kiss. Well, on. the question is, um, if he's going to jack up on this ball or not. I think if you play the bank, and not jack up. I think you can go below the side po or the corner pocket. He's not jacked up. He's not jacked up. I think he's shooting. Yep, double uh, kiss. And he is going to get away with it. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. All right. Well, this is nine ball, folks. Now, we did see Spark this again. at the Moscone Cup recently, too, so this doesn't spring. So, well, maybe that was a designer shot. Then. Maybe <laughs> Thomas says, I've seen that shot. I know how this double kiss works. <laughs> Cue ball's going to come down, have a nice shot for James. Well designed shot. This is why you guys watch stream. You'll learn something. And Good ooh. Shot. So, Rattled it just a little. Yeah, he's uh, got a little, little there, but the table's a little forgiving like that. So, two to zero. Yeah, two nothing. Lace your bets. Lace your bets. What about you guys? You guys have any opinions other than uh, the twenty to fourteen that was predicted earlier, which still could be, can happen. Um, and Devin, Devin, and Jonathan have played a lot together. Uh, they do work well together. I think right now they're just a little nervous. Sort of get if they get themselves calm down and get themselves to sink. Um, I think it's going to, uh, I think you're going to see it turn around a lot, but it's going to be a question of Devin, you know, Devin getting his head right, getting his, you know, calm down, he's going to recollect himself. Devin does have like a high gear and a low gear. I'll yeah. definitely see Jonathan be a little bit more consistent. But if he's if he's being consistently, you know, not as good at the moment, that's the that's the rough part of it. Right. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, the middle game is so huge. It's a good break. But so the good thing is that keep long, away from him though. A long race like this will allow you time to uh sort of um get yourself back into the game. Gives you opportunities. I kind of like pushing over to the left rail yeah. right here because I don't think you're going to leave him a shot for the one. It doesn't look like the one goes in the corner. Oh, believe me, I am not doubting Devin. Like I said, he's got time. Nice. He gets, I'll see, if he has his confidence up though. Oh, yeah. You could, but his high gear is high. Yeah. And Jonathan is, John, yeah, like I said, Jonathan is a lot more consistent with this game. I mean, he's he's going to miss certain shots, um, but he has a he has a different level of focus. He almost sees the game a differently than say Devin. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I think he's. Um, I think Devin is is more of a. I don't want to say freewheeling, but certainly more of an instinctual player, where he's just gonna he he's shot these shots. He knows what he's doing. He's he's scratched on that. that. Yeah, he hit that little thin and scratched. Um, Jonathan, I think, analyzes it a little bit more than maybe Devin does. Which may be for the best for Devin. I mean, Devin is at his best when he just gets sort of lines cleared, nothing's going on, and just playing pool. See, I really like uh, I really like Thomas's play style when it comes to this, but. I've seen Thomas definitely catch some really high gears. and Oh, he's definitely capable. Yeah. Sure. Now, I don't really know how James plays that much, so it'll be interesting to see if, you know, he's what his gear is like. Right. It's hard, though, like in Scotch Pebbles to really hit it. You know. But here's a good look at John. And I mean, if you watch his body style, and he shoots, he does a good job staying down. He's very consistent. Yeah, I mean, well, he's he's got good fundamentals, and and actually, Devin does too, when he allows him to have them. <laughs> Devin's got a Devin's got more of a, a snooker 
kind of stance. Well, too. the stance, yeah. But it's it's funny because I've actually done some closed dive drills with Evan. And his fundamentals look almost perfect. Really? When he does his eyes closed, because he's at that point he's not getting oh uh, and what a tough spread. Off the tougher. That's why, like, when I make that, when I do that shot in particular, mm -hmm. I've really started throwing inside on it just to. Oh, you put more inside, go into it? I was thinking if you just yeah. go a little bit less and just really try to go more parallel to the long rail. I try to make it into you a two spread. rail because if I make it into a two rail, then I'm expecting to get further off the rail coming down for the five. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, if you play with the inside, you also pick up speed off the second round. So you, That's, also, yeah. you don't have to really put as much into the shot. Now, with that being said, if it's too close, throwing the inside also makes it a little bit harder to control when you're shooting it. <laughs> true. I mean, but that's why anytime you put any right or left, I mean, you need to, if you're going to play it, you need to practice it. So, oh, yeah, for sure. Because it, it, there's st you're just adding a lot more variables to the shot. So if you're comfortable with it, you, you really understand the speed and you understand your game at that point, yeah, it's great. But if you're feeling good, woke yeah, up, yeah, ate your Wheaties. Exactly. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, you've gotten a few reps in, you're great. If you're coming to the table cold, though, it's probably not suggested that you put a whole lot of right no. now. Right now. This is a, keep it simple. Keep everything simple. I think he gave him a little bit more angle than he wanted to on that, but uh -oh. it'll be just fine. Uh, that's that's good. Good. We put... This year we put the HR cloth on there. And the it, HR it, cloth... It the HR. Yeah, it definitely plays a little bit... Slower. It's a little slower. Than the older coffin. Yeah. But yeah, the, uh, you guys didn't talk about it last week, the last stream. Yeah, John, uh, John Nisi recovered the table. Oh, during, no during way. the off time. So we have uh, nice news. The nine ball. Yeah, yeah, James just, I don't know if that, that last game where he made the nine and sort of missed the deck out his head a little bit. And maybe he got a little bit too careful to nine here. That's definitely a possibility. You know, we've seen that. Multiple times. Couldn't believe all. We're all guilty of that one. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. You're fine. Yeah, I know. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm more so. I'm kind of surprised about that too. But like I said, I think, you know, there's so many variables going on. You're you're on the stream in the back of your head, especially in the first few games, and you're not used to being on the stream. It's it's there. It is definitely back of your head. Um, I like Nisi is uh, you know, make sure you guys know uh. Nisi is also posting up a score on there. Yeah, Nisi is doing a lot. Nisi's old. Wes is in the house. What's up, Wes? Wesley, is that Wesley White? I don't know which Wes. Which Wes is this? <laughs> it's the PV version of the Wes. And oh. Daily Till. Let's go with Devin. I was uh, reminding what it's like to play pool again. He's ready to get in the box. West D. So, uh, I want to play with you too, though. I want to play with one pocket with somebody down here. I wonder, like, uh, pushing out. that interview that Jeremy Jones had recently, I wonder if that's true, like, if One Pocket actually is the most watched um, thing that gets streamed right now. Because um, you don't, like, I, think, I don't really see that many One Pocket streams, it seems like. I, I think it might actually, but on a high level, you know, on pay-per-view. Maybe. Stuff like that, where you have a lot of action. Um, it might be. Wow, what a shot. Got the two. Yeah, I played a little... A little billiard there. Two made the two. One ball didn't do any favors for him, though. Take a minute to look at this. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of a tough spot to be. But yeah, I think you might be right. Maybe on pay-per-view it is, but yeah. I don't know about like uh, just regular streams. Right. But I'd say, like, it's kind of interesting, even when you're watching, uh, like, lower skill level people play Wind Pocket, like, you get to see more shots at that point. So it's almost, like, kind of more interesting to see what lower skill level players do sometimes. 
It, it, it's, it could be interesting. It could also make you pull your hair out. <laughs> that is true. I'm looking at you, I'm like, why well, don't you guys? There's just an easy little safety you can play. It's, you can lock it down. And he's going to like first. Don't go for the Fort Rail Bank. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be entertaining, though. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, just remember, remember, kids, not everybody can be Tony Chohan. <laughs> and sometimes Tony Chohan isn't Tony Chohan either. <laughs> so you got to be careful with that. But yeah, I would love, actually, I would love to commentate a uh, one pocket match at some point. Just, if for no other reason, show my absolutely ignorance of the game. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't think we're all ignorant when it comes to that stuff. So. One Fuck is a, definitely a rough game. It says there's, do we play a real first with top or are we going to go straight into the ball? Go straight into it. Down, all right. It's a nice angle. I like straight down into it. I think it gives you a better angle you're coming into the four. What are we going to do about that eight ball? That so, my question, no. You want to talk about it a little bit? I think you just draw it back right here and give yourself shape to get on the other side of the gate. Do you know of any special rules they had set up for this match? Actually, I don't. Um, maybe Nisi can post yeah, them for us in the chat. Any special rules. She's, she's been setting up the matches. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You kind of rushed in a little bit. Came out and out of a stroke. Bringing Thomas back up to the table. Maybe he just didn't really like, uh, maybe he didn't like how the eight ball is being set up right now. Yeah, it plays like hard times. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, I guess Roy's Basement still has a lot of one pocket streams. Uh, did Roy's Basement quit streaming though? Don't, did they quit streaming? They, they sold their table. Oh, did they? I don't know if okay. they're still streaming or not. Uh, maybe not. But, uh, I would say this, though. Uh, speak of hard times, Daniel, who does string, does POV, he has done a great job. It's interesting to see the changes that he's made. He's made a lot of them over the years. I think I think he actually has become a much better one pocket player because of uh, the fact that he, I mean, he gets himself in action, but because he streams and he talks to people about shots, because he'll have great players on and they'll talk about shots that he's learned himself a lot about one pocket. The one, the one that's I've seen like Ooh, coming up a lot far. recently has been a. Uh, oh my god. He's been on YouTube a lot recently. He's been doing podcasts and stuff. But his stream seems like it's. Been... So they're doing yes, the anti. Oh. No, he's shot that ball in. That's a nice shot. So they're doing the anti nine ball of calling the nine ball. Like the most anti nine ball rule. <laughs> it just depends on how far you go back in the history. Because <laughs> I think nine ball originally started off with uh, calling the nine ball. So. Did it? I, I think, think so. I never heard of that. Oh, and Jonathan then you also, fires that ball in. That's yeah, kind of unusual for Jonathan to fire a ball in like that. Yeah, but I mean, that's a it good... It worked for him. Though. It's a good confidence stroke, though. It's a good sort of showing a lot of self-assurance and, and when you pound that ball in like that, now you got your, your butt is going and you're feeling good. So we might see, uh, we'll see where this goes from here. We have tied up though, after that, uh, that, that, that weird nine ball shot that James shot. Put him back a little bit now. Maybe we're gonna see uh, some momentum. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would say. I'm with, I'm with you. I mean, if we're gonna play a called shot game, let's play a called shot game. I think that's one thing. I think we are missing a lot of good opportunities to playing ten ball. Uh, you know, ten ball though has a few different rules than nine ball does. Realistically, though, you know, oh, it I think does. It's not just call shot. You also have like option, and there's a few other like odd rules on ten ball. Well, yeah, there's there's them. rules that's in fact because it's a called shot game. And one thing that I will say this one thing I don't like about called nine ball is that it doesn't seem any agreement on what happens if you make the nine ball early without calling it. Do you get to shoot again? Do you not? 
you know, things like that. And, you know, it, it doesn't make sense that you can slop any ball in and keep shooting. But if you slop the nine in, then suddenly you lose your turn. You know, I, I, th I think of it as like a organization, organizational, right? Like, it just depends on what rules you want to play by. Well, if you want to yeah. play just nine, from that, then I think that's fine. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's rules if you want to agree, but I mean, it's just, I, I, I'm a big fan of consistency of rules. You know, it's good for one, it's good for everything, so. You think so? Yeah, that's why I would just prefer, let's just, if you want to play a called shot game, play play everything called shots. Let's see where it goes. I did play it in one tournament where that the rule was that if you, uh, you make the nine early, it spots up immediately and you keep shooting. That's another question. Does it spot up immediately, or do you wait till the end of your turn, or wait till there's a ball left? There's always that rule. But um, you would keep shooting unless you're on the nine. And if you're on the nine and you pocket the nine ball in the wrong pocket, then it spots and you lose your turn. So, once again, it's just, it's, uh, oh! Oh, why'd he hit it? Like there's, there's Jonathan with the, another aggressive stroke. He's really trying to himself goal line to it. And he oh, farted. He scratch on he that. with that side. The funny thing is, if he actually hits that a little softer, it takes the English more and he does scratch. Yeah. In fact, he hit as hard as he did. Might have helped him prevent him from scratching. But that is an insane shot. Devin is trying to huh. play. I think he's... Okay, yeah. He was trying to roll between those two balls. Yeah, well, he was trying to get up there. But he didn't... Uh, he just he didn't, didn't have the angle right. No. He just didn't hit it at the right spot. So... That will bring... Everyone, Mr. James Baker. Games, the games for the way the game were designed. Yeah. I agree with that. Of course, I always wonder how many people want to change the game to give themselves whatever personal advantage they have at that point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think a stronger player is definitely going to want call nine. A lot of times, you know. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I mean, honestly, if if you have two really strong players, I think most players don't care about the call nine. Oh yeah, because you have two strong often, players. Yeah, it's less often. Um, but if you have like a strong player and a weaker player, mm -hmm. the strong player is going to want their call nine. Right. And I, I, I know. I've lost money before. You know, when I wasn't playing call nine. And, you know, you're bracing the three or something like that, and somebody yeah, slots but, like two nine balls in. But what if what if that is their strategy? Nine balls. That's perfectly fine too. That sounds like some uh, death ball shit. Well, no, no. But I mean, <laughs> you, you get. I mean, you know, for some reason the name Toby comes up to me. You know, comes <laughs> comes into mind when I think of uh, people who they say, "Hey, yeah. it's it's a slop shot game. It's a slop shot game." So I'm gonna I fire at this thing every time I fire can. fire at it. And, you know, maybe that improves his chances of winning the match. Well, if we're going to talk about rules, how about the idea, and this is, uh, this man actually sparked nothing with some people, would, but what do you guys think about um, getting rid of the push out altogether? I've seen arguments or the idea of getting rid of the push out, especially at high level play. That, hey, Michael has an opinion on push out. No, I'm, I no, actually, I don't. <laughs> I just think it's an interesting idea. It's like, what if you got rid of the push out rule? Rid yeah. of it? Uh, I think that's fine. Like, I think it just depends. I think, uh, you know, like not having a push out rule benefits a lower skill level player a little bit more than a higher skill level player. So, it's just, you mm -hmm. know, play, placing your odds. So, let me ask you what? does the push out rule? Um, benefit the weaker player more or the stronger player more? What do you guys? It, what do you got? Wait, before you say that, I want to know you guys in, in chat. What do you guys think? The push out rule does it? Does it give the advantage to the weaker player or does it give more advantage to the stronger player? And and Jerry's already getting ready to the conversation. He's, already, he's done with this. He wants to get on to jumping. <laughs> Call him Little Earl. I ain't never used a jump cue in my life. Watch me jump this shit. You can help with a moochie. <laughs> All right, so either Matt or 
Arya, <laughs> one of two, or both of them say an amateur pull and they think it helps a stronger force. What about the rest of you guys? You guys have an opinion as far as push up? If not, we'll we'll hear John's opinion. Uh, All right. I, oh. Beautiful oh. eyelashes. Did he, did he call the nine here? Or if he called it. Huh. Find out soon. All right, so. So the Yuski apparently doesn't have as much strong of opinion on pushing out. Oh, she'll let you know an opinion. She'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think about the push-out rule? We'll get to the jumping in a second, Barry. Push-out rule. Uh, pushing out benefits the higher skill level player. Okay, and why is that? Uh, strategy. I mean, like, I can push myself out to a point where I know I can make it, but the opponent can't. Right, and that's that's always going to be an issue uh, as far as uh, the push-out. Um, plus the fact that stronger players knows sort of sees the game differently. And so a lot of times a weaker player, when they push out, they may actually make it a little too easy for the stronger player to get out on. Um, plus the stronger player is going to see certain good, safeties good stroke. before he pushes out that the weaker player won't see. You know, you go for a shot and if he gets it back, or certain, there's going to be a lockdown. Or certain locks that are already on the table that the weaker player is not going to see. Like if there's a four and a five locked up and I push you out from the two sitting there. You know, I'm, I'm betting that maybe you can make the two and the three, but you're not going to bring up the four. <laughs> so since so Jerry is uh, taking control of the conversation, what's your opinion on jumping? What was Jerry's opinion on jumping anyway? What did he he said uh, he said he didn't like jumping. He said, get rid of it. Get rid of jumping. Get rid of jumping. <sighs> what do you think? Wait, you know I don't jump. <laughs> Now, that being said, the way I learned how to jump, the guy that taught me how to jump put me maybe like a quarter of an inch from another ball and showed me how to jump at like a very short distance. So that was how I learned. Oh, that's 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 tough to... Oh, wow. Well, he showed me how to... And once he showed me how to, it made a lot more sense. Right. But it was definitely a little weird to pick up. But like, I don't even... So... You know it. So... Outside of your ability to jump, what do you think about the concept of jumping? Do you like uh, it? Do you... I like it. I think that it has its places. What about I you? With Jerry, I, I would love to get rid of it. Like entirely? Entirely. I think, to me, pool was designed to be a two-dimensional sport. Oh, yeah. Um, and there should never be any three dimensions to it at all. So that's that's why I'm completely now. Don't get me wrong, I do jump. I have a jump cue, and I practice jumping. But it's like anything. It's, to me, it's like in golf when they could use those super long putters. They can rest your chin on, and it just makes the putting that much easier. And a lot of people don't like it. But if it's going to be allowed, I'm going to take advantage because why would I put myself in a worse, tougher position than my opponents are? No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't. No. But that being said, yeah. With you, dump, dump the jump. Just get rid of it completely. I mean, if you're hooked and locked down, we you know we know somebody you, you, who refuses to jump who's a very good player too. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mr. Bernardo. Oh, I, uh, close on the bank. Plays and pulls. This uh, sure. is a opportunity for James and Thomas to get themselves a lead again. Started off two games up. James and Thomas start two games up. John and Devin caught back up. 2-2. Two -two. They haven't had the lead yet. Yeah, we've seen a couple of games given away so far, though. Uh -huh. Oh, that was a great nice shot. Paint. Nice paint. Good shape. Nice little stop shot there to hold it. A slight angle. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's really hard on tables, and you don't want to do it on good tables, especially when you're learning how to jump. But I mean, like, you know, other things can be a little hard on too. Like, breaking can be hard. Nice shot. You're not doing any, uh, you're certainly not doing any favors to the cloth by jumping. Oh. 
Nah, because it spreads the cloth in those little tiny spots. I mean, you're, you're basically burning and breaking the fibers as you go. Alright, well, Devin is doing a little furniture rearranging. Yeah, I wonder why he's moving the chair. Yeah, he's going to go home, get comfortable. Maybe that's the problem, he doesn't have a good, comfortable seat yet. He yeah, wants to move that. over closer to where the food is, which is <laughs> on the left side. James gets down ready to break. Let's we'll see how long that fall through is. He raises up. It's a good long fall through. It's a good break. Yeah. What's that about break? Cloth still on the table. Three ball takes a little tiny roll on. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like using the cloth so much to break on. Kind of actually thought about taking it away before the before the match started. Oh, why is that? Uh, cause like when the, when a ball hits the cloth, it changes the trajectory of the ball just a little bit. Not like a lot, but just a little bit. It's slightly elevated, but, um, yeah, I wonder how much more elevated it is versus when you break right away. Cause the cue ball is still elevated when you break. That's the reason why you always get the, the, when the table gets worn out, you get the line of the break and that line is just accumulation of all the places where the cue ball has fallen on the cloth during it's, the break. Yeah, skipping. Yeah, it skips across. So there's always some elevation. Um, I think I think if, if people broke well, you wouldn't need the cloth, but there's a lot of people who really like to break downwards. I mean, trying to get that little hop and uh, timing hops of hops that rack. So I understand it, but some people sort of overdo it. You end up burning a hole into it because they don't move the cue ball. Hey, one of my favorite favorite pool players is like the best of that. <laughs> a dude can get some hair on the ball. Michael DeShane is who I'm talking about, by the way. Mm. Michael DeShane, if, if you go like look at some of his breaks on YouTube, like you'll see the cue ball jump like probably like two or three feet oh, yeah. off the table. It's crazy. I mean, back when I was learning to play, it was normal to shoot downwards on the ball and really get that skip. And I've seen people where it would hit the the, the head ball and just straight up and take out a light. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, so <laughs> they get glass all over the table. And you're like, oh, it's not good. Clean ball technology. The, the what the balls are made of technology. The definitely the break cue technology. Where you're transferring so much more energy through it that um, the days of just the hard, hard slamming break is... Oh, that's a nice little kick. Do you think that the break you actually helps the break that much? I think so, yeah. You think so? I think I think what it does is because it transfers so much energy, you got a hard tip, and I mean, all the equipment is made just for breaking, that you're getting plenty of energy through the cue ball so that you're not having to add any more to it, which gives you opportunity to control the break more. I'd be really interested to find a way to actually like test that just to see like what the difference is between like a break cue and a regular cue when it comes to breaking. Oh, wow. Cause like from my understanding, well, from my, uh, from my experience, it seems that the break cue has only been really to protect my thank you, not really to improve my break, which is why a lot of times I don't use it. I think that was, yeah, I think that's the old school way of thinking about it, that you're, you're protecting your shaft, your print, your joints of your... Mostly my tip from getting, like, compressed down, because, you know, I've always played with leather tips. I mean, I, I have seen playing cues whose pin would get bent. Really? Yeah. Because well, they would I've never seen that before. That'd be crazy. So you basically destroy the entire cue. I broke my, uh, I broke my pin one time when I was breaking. I, uh, well, it didn't break. It like compressed into the other part of the queue and just like jostled out. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the introduction of carbon fiber now, you know, and I mean, it, to break, to have a good break queue that isn't carbon fiber is, I think, you're sort of reducing your uh, your potential. But that's just my opinion. Because I mean, honestly, it's not like you're trying to put a lot of English on it. You're not. Throwing not a big mess they show. You're just hitting the ball straight hard. I'd just be really interested to see like if there's a way to test it. Right. Like if you set up like a, maybe just like a little tiny robot arm. That being said, I've seen uh I forgot who it was. It was a Filipino player that was playing at Mr. Q's when they used to have tournaments. And he only had access he didn't have cues with him or something happened. And so Basically, what happened is that somebody offered him to use his break cue, 
And so he took it to the guy to change the tip and put an Elk Master on it. So put an Elk Master on him, and I think he ended up winning the tournament. <laughs> it, was just, it was ridiculous. So. Uh, Devin's going to here. So what, yeah, I was wondering to if he's going to draw back some rails. Well, at least he didn't safety him. He can still no, see I think the ball. he can see it. I think he can turn it. If he can, has really good control, he actually could put the, he could put the uh, cue ball behind the eight. You know, one rail. Sort of tuck it behind the eight. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play here. But the problem is, if you don't hit it, you you do sell the game. Jonathan, just, so he's got like to play he the might be hitting a little fatter to play with. Uh, nope. Yeah, just no, he did. He had a little bit more conservative. I mean, the way I was thinking about it, I don't get more thin. And just like getting it but this way. Right. A perfectly fine, fine shot. Oof. Now to the point where that you know, good jumper can get up and over, and not only do you make it, but you get shape on the side. But James is looking for the kick. Nisi said there is a billiards YouTube channel named Mythbusters, and it's not the real Mythbusters. <laughs> oh, well, oh, no rail. Yeah, he didn't quite get a rail, but hit a harder and a little bit angle. He might have gotten away done well with it. Yeah, I think if he did a little bit harder, though, it wouldn't have touched it. <laughs> yes, yeah, Kyle, jumps would've, are would've. allowed. Devin got a little bit. Jumps are the same volume decision. Still tuck weights. Go ahead and firm so he's gonna go one rail over. No, nope, he did sort of try to hold it. So do you like do you like playing the harder shape or the uh, harder shot? Um I think that's kind of more situational. But uh, generally I usually will play the easier shot, understanding I'm gonna have a harder shot next. Um, instead of getting bogged down with Trying to make a really, really tough shot. I don't think it's worth it. I think I think the idea I think the better idea is to take the easier shot and just accept the harder shot. The harder shot before you even get to it. So your brain's already aware that you're gonna have a harder shot, but you still giving yourself opportunity. Gotcha. And so you can come in with a little bit more confidence, I think. But or then if you're like, oh, okay, I've gotta take this really hard shot though. I know I'll be good if I make it, but I gotta take you know, I think there's that's sort of that negative mindset, that negative way of thinking that, oh, this is hard versus the, okay, this is easy. It's going to be tough next, but it's fine. I got a good opportunity. Let's just go. And there's a lot more positive thinking in that. I think uh, my brain goes out the window sometimes when I'm uh, thinking of stuff like that, because I, I, I start seeing the table like one direction. So like uh, I'll, I'll only see getting shape from one side of the mall, and I don't see it on the other side of the mall sometimes. So it like throws me off from... Uh, Realizing that the ball goes in maybe like three pockets. All I see is one. Oh, well, yeah, you get those pliers. We have a score discrepancy for some reason. Score discrepancy? Well, according to road player production, this should be 2-4. Yeah, so I think we're right. Yeah, I think we got it right here. Double check it really quick just to make sure. Now, if anybody wants to, going back to jumping, do like jumps. Okay, she got her. There she goes. Um, if you do like jumps, we, you know, if you guys want to host a stream on your table and have a game of all the jumps, you know. Every 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 <laughs> single shot, whether required or not, has to be a jump shot. Maybe so. maybe right before we change the clock. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. James um, parking getting hard enough, knowing he's going to go into that ball to try to make something else happen from it. It's the, uh... Yeah, I think if he would have hit it like on one side other than the other, might have came out a little further. 
But if you if you know it's just naturally going to want to go into a ball, there's no reason to try to fight it. Just accept it and just go through the ball. Was it gonna? Okay. It's gonna fold up. It's hold up. I hope you. Yeah, the the table is. Uh, it does seem to stop a little faster. Does definitely stop a little faster. So, yeah, I think I was talking to somebody about this. I guess the maybe it was you telling me this that the factory that used to make some of actually burned down. It flooded. Yeah, that's right. It flooded. It flooded. Yeah. So, the, so maybe the the newer cloth is actually a little bit different than the older one. Maybe I, it would surprise me though if it is. But I mean, it's certainly. Well, I mean, possible. that's what happened with the old diamond tables, right? Like you know, the yeah. diamond factory burnt down, and then they couldn't reproduce the old diamond tables as good. Well, yeah. So Actually, I, don't, I think it was part of the fact that, well, the 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 wood, the diamond company that made the wood, the diamond wood, yeah, it burned out. That was the one that burned out. And so there was no other way of getting diamond wood done. And so they just had to make do with what they had, you know. But they but they had come up with such a great design. Um, I touched the that a little, little incidental contact. Back like that. Um. And they made, yeah, that diamond had such a great design on the table that selling well. Yeah, I, it would be it would be nice if they if the diamond wood was still around. Now those the diamond woods, the people who made break cues out of diamond wood and jump cues out of diamond wood, oh, those things were nice. Did they really? Oh yeah. I didn't realize that. They were pretty too. What was diamond wood made out of? So diamond wood was a laminate. I forgot which wood it is, but it's basically it's a it's laminated wood. And it's really, really hard because it's laminated together, and you could get different woods that were, you know, different colors, and have it that way. So you could have a cue that would be alternating between like a brown and a blue, you know, woods. And like I said, because of that, they were, they would. It was just such a strong makeup of or compound wood that uh, it just broke really well. And, Jumped really well. I wonder what kind of cues used to be made out of that. Out of curiosity. Um, most people would be specialty uh, cue makers that would would get the diamond wood and then make the cues themselves. So, uh, out of Amarillo, you had Joe Bosco. the The name escapes me. There was a guy on the East Coast. But I can't remember. Some of you guys probably remember who who made those cues. Um, and they were worth a lot of money too. Oh, were they? What do you think? Chris, of the is, Chris is still event. in. If Chris uh, Burbage is still in, he would probably remember who made the uh, made those diamond wood cues. Yeah. Mm. Oof. Interesting. Jamie Dyer, making sure he says hello to everyone. Not leaving anyone out. What's up, Jamie? How are you doing? How do you like to go one rail here and come out for the night or two rails? Um, I like going just one rail. I, I like it this then. So I just slide straight, basically parallel with the long. Just like that? No, he actually hit it away from the from there. I, I just, for some reason, I think I'm in the minority, but I like hitting those shots a lot thinner, just coming down the other side. Uh, you like so, coming on the short side? Coming on the short side on something like that, because I, I feel like at that point, you're almost lagging the ball to that point. I mean, it's like, it so thin. it's like half a diamond over there, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, just, you just cheat the pocket. But that's, I think it's just the way I've become comfortable with it. Oh, yeah. I think most people would just shoot it coming out. I think stronger players might actually play that two rails, so that the cue is coming in towards the line of the shot. Jamie said Diamond Wood was a guy named Daniel. Was that the guy who made Diamond Wood, or is that uh, a cue maker that used Diamond Wood to make cue? I want to say the guy in the east was out of somewhere in the Carolinas. There was a lot of them back then. Yeah. 
See if we can find it. See if Google knows. Oh, brave. What the heck? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. There is a diamond wood Alex Briggs. Alex Briggs is the one that made them. Yeah. Looks like, like they decided to take a break. Okay. Three to four. Taking a little break a little early. All right. No. Nope. So Alex Brick, what kind of keys does he have? Uh, well, no, Alex Brick was the one that did a lot of the, the cues with the diamond wood, but of course he can't get diamond wood, so he doesn't do it anymore. Uh, yeah, he had one that was an indigo, indigo blue jump cue. Yeah, but they're so pretty. Oh, doesn't look like the brick. That's like uh, break Oh, that's pretty cute. Kind of looks like a snicker cue. Yeah, but you see how the the woods are laminated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't put it on the screen for you guys to see, but looks pretty layered. Oh, so good. Yeah, I mean that's basically what it is. Just layered wood. That's what diamond wood is. Diamond wood is a process. It's like perf wood or something. But like I said, because of that structure, it's super super strong. But yeah, I mean, these the, the images we're looking at are 10 years old. So. But yeah, Alex Brick is the one that uh, was the one that around this area that made it. Like I said, I used to have one by... Actually, I have owned two of them by Joe Bosco, thanks to Nathan. Which Nathan? Nathan, uh, you know, happy, fun Nathan. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Marietta. And uh, we actually made a trade... And, because I had a break cue and a jump butt. And so we ended up making a weird trade. And then like a few days later, it was broke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, but he broke it. So like, oh, well, he just laughed at it. All right, so we're back in action. Does he still play a lot? I don't know. I haven't, really... I haven't been over there too yeah, much. I haven't, I haven't gotten over to Maria much at all. I need to get back over there once in a while just to see what's going on. You used to go over there quite a bit. I was in Louisville this week. I didn't even go anywhere. I tried to go to one pool hall and they were like closed or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I tried yeah. to go to a place called Thunder Row Billiards. Oh. And it was uh, down in Elizabethtown. But yeah, I don't know if they haven't opened or if they're just like shut down or what. Well, yeah, that's weird. On a... I played over in Louisville a few times though. There's a lot of good players up there. So you can see some banks. A lot of banks. See some bank pool. A lot of banks. And uh, when you're playing banks with people that know the table, it's very difficult. All right. Well, we're looking to jump. We're looking to jump. No, we have changed our mind. Jumping is not going to be happening on this shot. Going for that one row. Well, I mean, you could, you could two row this. But he's going to spin it. See, in my mind, like even if you make the shot, like you're not getting on two. All right. What are you? What are you accomplishing? It's looking at the two railer. I guess like I guess like if you hit if you hit on the right side of the one ball, you hit it hard enough, you can get safe on this. I would say you can go long side, but you can't. You got too many balls blocking the, the other rail. Yeah, no, he's definitely sh he definitely shot it right yeah. if you wanted to shoot it. Maybe he was just truly trying to make contact over everything. On that, almost like just trying to lock something up. I've never heard of Bob Renis, Renis, by the way, Jamie. So, does he still making cues, or is he? Uh, do you know what he's still doing? Jonathan does here with uh, a bowling hand. It's kind of a weird bowling hand. He's jacked up over balls. You really don't want to jack up over balls on bowling hand. It's, it's going to be a better solution. Okay, so now he's asking over. over. Ask John V. What are the what are you asking, John V? Yeah. Hey, unless we're talking about the, the break cues that he would know. But he's a little bit more comfortable now. But man, he just 
really want that ball. Yeah. He didn't make a really good smooth stroke in a while to take that English. Yeah, he really needed a softer, smoother stroke in that one. He's trying to trying to kind of like navigate through that little. But I, I think he had a really good path to get on the two. I think he did too. Ooh. But that was kind of his own fault. I gave him back. Yeah, gave him ball and hand back. One last ball. The fairly open table at this point. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really see any problem balls here. Maybe getting on the six was like your biggest, your hardest problem ball. Meanwhile, in chat, we're having husky talk. Husky talk, bro. <laughs> Gotta have some real husky talk for a little bit. My dog is like the worst combination of two dog breeds. Husky <laughs> and Collie. Oh God. So stubborn. <laughs> let you know when somebody's around, though. I'll let you know. <laughs> Richard's actually gotten better at letting us know. It's a loud bark. <laughs> it's any bigger, he's going to be taking that door down. Oh, yeah, no, he's going to be getting bigger, too. He's been a pretty good dog, though. Like, for getting a stray. He's mm -hmm. been a really good dog. He's just really calm most of the time. Yeah, he's a puppy. He's so he still like a puppy. He's a little puppy. It's a puppy that doesn't know how big a puppy is. Yeah, he definitely doesn't know how big he is. This is kind of a hard shot right here. I like playing this with a bottom outside. That's what he's going to do. Outside didn't take, though. Yeah, he's not comfortable because he's jumping up on a lot of shots also. <sighs> this is kind of interesting. Hmm. Like, do you call... Did he call the nine? He's probably... Oh, uh, here's another weird one. What if you call the nine and he gets... What do you mean? What if you call the... What if you call the nine... Like, you're going for a six... You're calling the nine outside. Like sometimes that rule changes. Oh yeah, that's the place. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's another weird rule. I mean, like in ten ball, you don't have that issue because you you call one or the other. That's right. You call one or the other. You can't call anything else. You can't just say I'm calling the five here, the six over here, eight here. Or if I get lucky, the ten here. So I like you make one of them. You keep shooting. <laughs> you don't even have to use any English on the shot. Well, you put a little talk on it. Just yeah. cut it in the side and let that cue ball run for, 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 yeah, for the seven. Yeah, you just let it float on down, back up. One. Three rails. I wonder if he's thinking about drawing this ball. Yeah. No, he's, no, he's topping. He's topping. Top on, top on it. Yeah, come around. Around the world a little bit. Oh, we hit that a little hard. Go around the world a lot of it. To well, you might have to see the though. entire trip. Wanted to make sure it's all the whole table. He doesn't have to worry about that cue ball. He knows that table. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. He should just. He, he should just got see. found out. It's been holding on to a secret for so long. <laughs> Gary just out of her. Just wanted to learn Mahjong. Likely story. Oh, yeah, she got a Mahjong set for Christmas. Oh, did she? Yep, she wanted to learn how to play Mahjong, so now she's looking for a Mahjong partner. The only time I've ever seen that movie is in, like, or that uh, that game is in, like, Jackie Chan movie. Oh, no, really? No, I've seen it played quite a bit. <laughs> I've seen it played a lot, a lot. Really? Oh, yeah. Where at? Uh, people's Houses. Oh, uh, okay. There was a, a point in my life where I was playing a lot more poker. Okay. And some of the places we would go play at would be at Spagen. Places they play Slim Mahjong to. So, yeah. So they you gamble with that game, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's a big gambling game. Okay, that's so what I thought. Huge gambling game. I thought it was like a women's gambling game. It is. Okay. Well, I mean, stereotypically, yeah. A lot of women, a lot more women play it more than they play other gambling games. Gotcha. Typically. But guys play it, too. I mean, it's not like it's a old woman's game. Really? But it's, just a, it's a game that women prefer to play. Asian women for to play gambling, at least older. But yeah, the only one I've really gambled with, like that, has been Bones. Oh. Like I played Bones for money a few times. Mm -hmm. 
Bones is a lot of fun, by the way. Or anyway, bones. Yeah. Or dominoes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Slippery Charlie Marietta. He's uh, he'll bring some dominoes. I play, <laughs> I play dominoes with him quite a bit. I learned how to play dominoes while I was learning how to play pool. Really? And, yeah. The guy taught me how to play pool because we would play every day. And there would be some days that were like, you know what? Let's just take a break. From pool. Okay. And then we would do other games. We play cribbage. Yeah. So I learned how to play cribbage. I learned how to play euchre. I learned how to play uh, dominoes. Oh, cool. That's rough. I never did get into backgammon though. It's probably a good thing. Backgammon looks rough. That's, I, that's a pretty intense game. I learned how to play uh, bones when I was in uh, Afghanistan. So three of the guys in my shop were black. They were like, "Hey, who wants to play bones with us? We need one more person." I'm like, "Let's fucking go." Cause I played spades with them every night anyways. Right. So I was like, let's fucking go. So like I started playing bones with them and then I started playing bones like every day and I ended up playing like bones throughout my entire like Afghanistan tour. <laughs> yeah, I got a... That's where I really learned how to play spades though was Afghanistan. Like really learned how to play. Really? Well, like, I got played with family and friends and stuff, but it was People gamble with that game. Yeah, and I, it's, I, I learned to play in high school. We start putting money into that game, and oh my god! Yeah, then you gotta start figuring out how much you trust your partner. Oh yeah, oh god yeah. <laughs> if you're a lunatic and never bidding, it's like oh. Well, I, I do. I played. I started playing to where I would just trust my partner every time, right? So, mm -hmm. was, well, we almost hit that. Yeah, it was close. But I play, trust my partner every time. So I get my books, and then I wouldn't get any other books. I was like, all right, throwing off on everything else, then, bro. It's all you, dude. Now, I did get a 13 one time. I got a hand that was just like, I don't even know, it was like seven or eight spades, and I had all the highest ones. Right. And I had like one club, and it was like a really high club, and I was like, let's go. So I got like all 13 books, and I was like, I've never done this. This is crazy. Yeah, I mean, and you, you go, right. I forgot what we counted it as then, though. I think it might have just been 130 points, but I can't remember. Oh, I think you got called out on your spades game. What's up? Nah, we didn't do bad. We played pretty good. Nisi's uh, still learning how to play spades. She was my partner. Like I said, I, I played with tons of it in high school. Did you? Yeah. See, maybe we got to go to Mr. Q's and catch a spades game. <laughs> I played a long time. There's an older guy up there that plays uh, some weird game. I forget what his name is, but he sits he sits in the uh, the top viewing part of mm -hmm. where all the nine foots are, and he'll sit up there and play some card game in the I've, in the uh, afternoons. I've, okay, maybe we should go check it out some afternoon. Yeah, he's not there during the days or during the night. Okay. Okay. Now I know there'll be a group of people that come in and play dominoes, but it seems to be a private game. Well, I haven't seen them in a long time. I think they might have told them to not come back. <laughs> uh, but they were, I mean, they drank a lot and they were loud. And, oh, were they? Yeah. And I'll just say that English was not their mother tongue. Oh, God. So I don't know what they were yelling about, but, you know, I mean, the, and it's fine, except for the fact that you're right next to people who are gambling, playing pool, don't need to hear loud shouting by you know, in a language you don't quite understand. So, yeah, for sure. All right, back to the game. So have a look at safety. Hey, is there a gang? <laughs> yeah, I think so. What's going on? I think they're holding hands and singing Kumbaya. That was a good take, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got on the other side of the A pretty smoothly. Yeah, but this is not that tough of a jump thing. Uh, it's not that tough of a one rail either. Yeah. But what are you going to do with it if you one rail it? So this is kind of one of those where you kind of have to jump it. Well, I mean, not even you want to jump it. I mean, it's just natural. As long as you don't hit it too hard, you're going to have shape if you make this ball. So well, he's going for the kick. Okay. And he almost made the six. Yeah. He is going to be an interesting, tricky little shot. Jumping it there, you do risk kind of scratching. Like, if you hit on the right side of the three, it okay. looked like the that tangent was just right there for right. the scratch. So. Yeah, Nisi and my dad were playing spades together, and uh, they won one time when they were playing. I think I was uh, playing with one of my nephews. I like to enjoy hearts, too. 
never got into hearts. I used to play it on the computer when I was like really young, but that and Minesweeper. <laughs> I got, I don't know how I got really lucky one time and had like a one click win on Minesweeper. Mm. That's like, uh, yeah. I think that's how he is cutting us up. Oh, what a shot. Makes it. What a shot. Questioning as a partner about what he's going to do with it. I think you got to bank it. I don't even think you play the safer. I think you just bank it. Uh, I don't know. The safer than bad. You can cut it. You can always play the same cut shot. Could play the same cut. It looks like true. you're going to play the safe, though. Looks like you're trying to go back. Actually, I don't know. Maybe he's just Looks like he's trying to cut it into the corner. But he was jacked up. So it makes me wonder if he wasn't trying to draw it back. Let's see what Earl so he is here. He is here. He does oh, he went for the bank. Went for the bank. I, so I'm still wondering if he, that was sort of a draw shot that he kind of pulled up on. Oh, maybe. So, David Hoey. Nice to see y'all back. Thanks, David. David. First Ooh, David. See that name in a bit? Yeah, this is the first time we've been back on stream together since we'll stream started back up, right? Me and Nisa did it last time. Okay. Cheers. Welcome. Okay. Hope you guys like the new setup. What do you think of the new setup, by the way? I like it. I like the fact that we can actually speak in a natural tone. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, I'm going to lose the... Uh, Ricky's probably not happy. You know, he likes me when I have that nice, quiet, that relaxing voice. Yeah, what's going <laughs> Watching the putt on the fifth green. Well, we can't. We can't really say what we're thinking sometimes too, because we've definitely changed well, a few shots. That's true. Yeah, we can't just say, "Hey, I don't." Why doesn't he just play a safe here? It seems like an obvious safe, and then suddenly they switch their tire position. It's <laughs> just safe. Oh, okay. Okay, well, so I'm going to definitely leave a good opportunity for Thomas and Jenny. Four balls. The uh, drawing at two rails round, a 21 rail. It looks like he's going go one. Inside. I like that better than trying to draw it back around. This is going to make James do a little bit of reaching. Too bad, but he's going to ride across that corner. They seem like they're playing okay together. I think they still got a little bit of early early game jitters, but yeah. That should be passing at this point though. Let's see, we've been playing for about an hour or fifteen minutes. Yep, hour and nineteen. And played eight games. Let's see if this doesn't speed up. Yeah, I think a lot of people they like oh. this idea of yeah, it's a uh, it's an unusual miss by Thomas. A lot of people like the idea of long races, good, fun, long races, but especially when you add scotch doubles to the equation, it takes a while. This set's going to take a while. That is true. Scotch doubles really does like throw a lot of people off. Well, it definitely slows down the pace. I mean, even if both players have a good pace and they're playing comfortable, you're still having to walk back and forth. It's not like when you're playing singles, you can shoot a shot and you can start walking to where the next shot's going to be and this ball's like that rolling. Because you know where it's going to be. But just the time it takes to walk back and forth. That was a good shot. It's a nice shot. Flirted with the corner just a little bit. I didn't get uh, crazy. I just... Yeah. It's a good question. What do you guys think? Do you prefer scotch doubles or do you prefer regular doubles? Which I don't even know. I mean, people have experience playing regular doubles anymore. Only in bars. Everybody still plays regular doubles in bars. Did you just catch on that? No, I didn't. What do you guys think? 5 4. First time they've taken the lead. I mean, when I was first playing. Lead change. When, you know, when I was first playing, playing a lot, Scotch doubles wasn't a thing. It was regular doubles. And it was, and so I had my old roommate, uh, Greg, so shout out to Greg Sabins, if he ever listens to this, he, he's had a baby, so he's doing the dad thing, he's awesome. but uh, he and I would play, we played uh, 
doubles, like I said, this is before Scotch doubles. And at this point, his offensive game was a lot stronger than mine. And my defense game was pretty strong. And that was our whole strategy. Is I was just going play a lockdown safe and just let him run racks. <laughs> and it worked. It worked for a long time one night until his hand cramped up. And he's <laughs> like, my hand's cramped. i got to do something. And so he's like, all right, we'll switch around. You you start taking it easy and I'll play. Because at this point, I'm warmed up. And I'm playing aggressive. And I'm getting out. So <laughs> my yeah, it was a long time. I need water. So, yeah, you can't have that that kind of strategy in Scotch Elves. You got to both perform. So, I don't, I mean, I don't know anybody that would actually prefer regular doubles at this point. Unless you're in a game and your partner is really weak. Yeah. You know. And then at that point, you know, you can sort of try well, to take advantage of it that way. APA kind of forces you to do, like, play kind of that way, though, a little bit. What do you mean? Well, APA, they cap when you're playing at a, a, the, the regional one. They cap their gotch doubles at like 10 skill points total. So like the best matchup you could really have is like two fives. So that makes it pretty rough, especially like, you know, if you're, you think, like if you're, if you're nine, you have to play with a one. Yeah. Right. That's just, yeah, that's APA being APA. That's APA being APA. But I mean, that's their that's their kind of whole like. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. This, this isn't me being, you know. This isn't me being insulting. This is their. That's their business model. Their oh, business yeah, model. For sure. So the APA business model is like that. So that's why I say, APA is following their, their model. Well, this is a it's interesting little situation here. I'll draw the cue ball back. Not the time to miss cue. That's for sure. Okay, went forward with it. Mm, that's interesting. I kind of, I was kind of expecting a draw back there instead of a top. I mean, top is definitely safer here. Definitely won't scratch the top. Yeah, and the four is not like any like dangerous spot. You just got to really make the three and not get behind the eight ball. Yeah, I just, I, I just. Wow. Oof. Yeah, I don't think James really liked the angle. I really wasn't too excited about it, but I think I would hit that with a pocket speed and just let it roll. He shot that kind yeah. of fast. Yeah. I don't, I, to me, that was just him not really liking the shot, his brain not liking it, and just rushing through it. But this is another factor a lot of people don't think about um, with Scotch Doubles, is that unless you really know your partner well, shots that you feel very comfortable with, they may not like at all. If that's the case, then you're just hurting your, your, your chances. Yeah. When you're this deep in the pocket, this makes this shot kind of Oh yeah. man, I think that's why it makes that shot into the top and just hold it. You hit the end rail about four times with that top. So I kinda I kinda like putting outside on it right there, just trying to get in between the nine and the eight. Man, so yeah, I, try say, to, or just... I try to be patient. Oh, oh good shot. Now, I will say this. But the five moved into When it does come to jumping, Devin, if you notice, he jumped with his break cue. But he doesn't jump with a jump cue. He actually feels like he jumps better with a full cue than he does with a jump cue. That's good. And he is pretty proficient with it. Now, do you cut this in the side, off the rail? I think I cut that. I think I go rail first. With a lot of left English? Maybe, but this is actually what is good about that shot. If you shoot it right, you actually move him back down on that bottom rail. You miss. Get him back and down on that just, bottom rail is hard, though. Yeah, <laughs> it just so happens that he might have him hooked, too. So. Yeah, kind of, maybe. It looks like he's got to spin it a little bit. He yeah. has to turn the cue ball just a little bit. Yeah, if he turns it right, though, he'll make this ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's got a high percentage of making it, I think, because you're spinning off the rail and you're just pushing it into that corner with the, the spin. So, uh, thinking about it. Yeah, now he's thinking about maybe going one row the other way. That's where we need that little camera to like zoom in on people's faces. Oh, he's going one round. He can go one round. 
He actually, that was a bad hit. It's gonna, it's gonna leave him. Bad saves. Oh, let's see what the what jumper jump does. Jumper dev. Don't be making jumper some. Jumper dev, jumper dev. Let's see what Devin does. If he's gonna go for the kick or go for the jump. He's thinking about the kick. I think he's thinking about the nope, jump. Go for the jump. No. Same about he's, he's already hit, hit a good jump. He's confident with it. I think I'm a little worried about this jump, jump just because of the scratch. I'm actually more worried about this jump because with a full cue. Oh, okay, he's broken it down. But he did break it down for this jump, so I was worried with a full cue that he would actually drop the cue off the table. Not that. Now he can get up and down a lot quicker with a shorter. Yeah, at least he's not going. Like, he's got plenty yeah. of room. Yeah. And I think that's right there it illustrates why he's just, he's more comfortable with a full cue. He just has, for some reason, he hasn't figured out how to adapt with a smaller cue in a jump. Something you gotta practice. Oh, yeah. You know, Absolutely. it's hard to find places to practice jumps. <laughs> Not find your shitty pull table to practice on. Not here. Oh, didn't slide over quite enough. Uh, yeah, I kind of held up on him a little bit. Probably should be fine now. Hey, man, you know what I'm thinking? Inside on this shot. <laughs> three rail. I was thinking about three rail. I don't really think you've got the angle for that. That would be pretty hard. <laughs> you might actually end up scratching, too. Man, he's looking at a draw now. Do you go between the 8 9 or do you go the 9? I think I just stun it over. <laughs> Go beside the nine, yeah. Oh, I don't see any reason why you gotta try to go between the eight and nine. <laughs> or you put inside on it, draw like draw inside. No, he does play the three railer. He went for it all the way around. Came up a little short, but yeah, it's not a bad spot to be. No, I think he's fine. I think James can cut this. It's going to be a question of where the nine ball ends up. Right. Gotcha. Maybe he won't touch the nine. No, I think he's pretty much guaranteed to. Well, I say that. It, it might, looks so he, thin. It might go around the It might go around the nine. But man, if he goes around the nine, he's going to have to go around the table with a cue ball. It's got to hit super. I mean, pocket speed. There you go. Well, did interestingly enough. Did he call it? <laughs> if he didn't call it. Oh, they're spotting it. Yeah. If he didn't call it, spots up, and you're still fine. There you go. It's not a bad shot. It's not a bad shot. That's why That is funny, though. But it's interesting that let's let's show the viewers what we're seeing over here. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I think that's still pretty makeable. Oh, it's very got, makeable. Got, yeah, I think you got enough of a gap. You just get down, look at the contact point. Just make sure you hit that part of the nine ball. Don't worry about anything else. It goes in the hole. I right have this top. That's Good it. Shot. Yep. Tie it back up. Five five. Well, we're a quarter of the way there. Quarter of the way. <laughs> At this point, we're looking just under an hour and a half. We haven't had any breaks yet. These streams last normally about four to five hours, so that's about on par. <laughs> we haven't had any breaks. That's true. We haven't had any breaks. But normally our breaks are only like five minutes. Right. <laughs> I've seen it so many times where that happens, and literally, like, literally, like it hits it, and then it's like... I actually sent in a query to uh, there, so. a couple of companies about sponsoring the stream. The oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't... I didn't hear anything back from them, though. Now I'm wondering if I maybe got an email sent on my junk mail or something. <laughs> mm. I sent yeah, one to, to uh, the... What's the betting website? Uh, DraftKings. The betting website? The betting website. DraftKings. Like 50,000 betting websites. Well, DraftKings, the big one. It's the one of DraftKings. Yeah. I was like, do you guys like degenerate gamblers? Well, have I got a stream for you. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting if Pool actually can have a reputation of being able to bet on it again by the general population, but... So I found out, this is weird, uh, in some states, it's not illegal to gamble one-on-one, -on -one, but it's illegal to make side bets. Yeah. That's weird to me. Not really. Um, the idea being that when you're betting on yourself, you're betting on your skills. 
you have control of your skills, you have control of your situation, you have, you know, you make all the decisions yourself. When you're side betting, you have no control. At that point, that's considered more gambling, it's more of a chance. That is true. And so that's that's the reason why, that's the reason why a lot of places you're allowed to have um, tournaments, and it's not considered gambling, but you're, you can't have a Calcutta, because now you're betting on other people. Once again, you don't have control over. Yeah. So that's the rationale behind all that. You turn the light a little bit that way. I think we are. We on a break? Are you gonna take a break? Looks like. Uh, I'm gonna take a break for a minute. Looks like the players are taking a break. Oh, well, good. Now we can talk shit about. Them. We have commercials. We don't have commercials here. We normally do. Okay. We do not have them here. Our there producer like, came in and told us who the rules. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, we're cussing too much. We are. <laughs> All right, so they're back. Back in action. How does the James actually break about the same? They have the same break. The score is right. Score right. Believe. You want to check in? Oh, you can rewind it. Yeah, right. Just double check yourself on that really quick, guys. Yeah, we're good. All right. We are back. Tim Gibbs. Like the stream. The house. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jerry said he'll play against Nisi. She can pick the game and the race. She gets to pick the uh, the spot also. Right, we have she to get, pick the spot. Does she pick the handicap? Nisi wanted me to help her pick a game, but I have to like to make the spot for her. Mm -hmm. Not against me, against somebody oh. else. Oh, okay. Three rails right here. Coming around for the four. Ooh, right into the six. That's real. I feel like to really like avoid that six ball, you gotta like really put some outside on that. What, you're just gonna run right into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nine. Good yeah. shot. Yeah, good straight shot. See if he gets rewarded or not. That's yeah, it looks like the memo might have gotten in the way. Yeah, not all sort of prepped up on there. James looks a little disappointed right now. I don't like kicking this one rail, hitting on the right side and trying to get the cue ball underneath the seven. And he makes the seven. All right. 
I didn't see that coming. You say something about the seven because we took care of the seven for you. Uh, he took care of the seven, actually. He, he took care of the seven. This shot I do like. I like this little sort of uh, low, almost low stun shot. Just to bring it straight back across. Man, I don't even feel like he got to stun this thing. Not really a draw shot, but it's not really a stun. So I grab the gun across like that. That's a shot I like. That was a good shot. I've been kind of straight though. He's going to be jacked up when he falls. Get on an eight's going to be a little, a little odd. I'm either going to have to draw it down toward the side pocket or come one rail out. Either one of these is wonderful because you're stretched over it. I kind of like drawing it back towards the side pocket because you're jacked up. It makes it a little bit easier than trying to put top on it. So you just stunned it. Well. It's actually a pretty good shot, though. He gave, left a really good angle. Yeah, he did. Well, I have to just bring it across. It doesn't really matter where it stops. As long as it get underneath the uh, nine, you're fine. Yeah, it seems like James and Thomas are picking up some speed on this. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, wow. Yeah, who did that? Who's from Austin? I don't know. I'm talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me on that one, folks. Superstitious. <laughs> Hey, Chris Burbage, what is the site to register for the app again? Uh, Nisi posted it up here a second ago. She could probably post it up again. She may but if you look back in the chat, it's on there. Maybe they got a thing worked out where that. In case she just keeps asking, so she has a reason to keep posting it. <laughs> wow. I don't think I... Wow, uh, that is an interesting way of shooting that ball. I don't think Nisi's ever met Chris. I, I, I think me and Chris have met her like actually a couple times. There you go. Nisi posted it up for you. That was an interesting way of getting on that nine ball. You to go. That's a good shot. Get there. I like it. There you go. A nice shot. Out the stroke. Going back up again. Six two five. <laughs> How are you liking so far? It's tough. Um, I mean. Both teams are making great shots, and both teams are just missing random goofiness for no reason. So, yeah, it's tough to say right now. We really haven't seen any big momentums yet. Yeah, they are small spurts of things that look like it's about to be a momentum, and then it just and then it peters off. It's 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 a wall. Yeah, they're playing. Uh, they're playing pretty even right now. Surprisingly. I believe this is Which I kind of like. I like that they're playing even, yeah. even if they are making some mistakes here yeah. there. Definitely makes for a better strip. Yeah. Better match. Um, I believe this is the first lead. It's not the first lead or second time they pick lead. Oh, they second, okay. they did, second, they second lead change. The four on them. Well, they got a yeah, they got a five to four, and then it went back to tied, and then it went six to five. That is a nice. Oh, it is a little short. bit short. Short. Still, it's. Still a fine safety belt. Uh, HR, baby. Yeah, I think this is a good... Uh, I think as long as you make this bank, though, like, I think that you're pretty Gucci, for lack of a better word, on this two ball. That would be a lack of a better word. Oh, for sure. Oh, he ran it down. Yeah, That's kind of interesting. I don't really quite understand the purpose of doing that, but maybe there's something I'm just not, like, seeing on that one yet. Doesn't look like you locked out the four. Yeah, that four is a little odd. He might be able to get if he gets below. If he say says round, maybe the third diamond up. Yeah, maybe he could be able to make that ball. Looks like he goes in the corner, but it's hard to tell. I mean, here you're shooting on the rail. Yeah, but I mean, like if you make the the one yeah, right here, you're like two, the two goes, and even if you leave yourself a little bit of angle, I think you're still good. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, my personal opinion is he's got a little bit too straight there. Right. I would but like to have a little bit more. I, I, I still think a little bit less speed to it. He showed a lot of strength giving some of his shots and now shooting. He so. has got some strong shots early. <laughs> but this should, do like this this should line up John pretty good to get onto the four. Oh, that's a nice shot. Ooh. Nice control of the cue ball. Hold it forward a little. I, I do like the, the amount of time that Devin's taken now on his shots. You see him slowing down and really long pause before he pulls back just to 
so the brain knows it likes to shine. So something, things like that, maybe what you start seeing the uh, brain point that's getting people. It's now that it had a nice longer pause in there. Yeah, he's Probably. got to back up a little bit on this. Yeah, he wasn't happy about running that ball, but maybe. Maybe the shaft goes in between the six and the nine, though. Oh, it definitely does. Well, I think what he did, though, is he made the uh, seven a little bit tougher to deal with now. Went to both pockets now, it only goes to our, or the close pocket, but. It looks like he's going to go for the nine here. Oh, I'm sorry, the six was the one that he missed. Yeah, six had a little bit off. Do you got to play the safe right here or go for the nine? It doesn't look like this. I like the goes. safety, actually. I think it's really not that tough just to go to the rail with the six and just roll the cube up to the nine. Let's lock it down. But Yeah. That's not exciting. But Fans aren't here to watch safeties. Is Tom up next or that's James? Yeah. Like, just going for the safe, it looks like. Oh, he went for oh, it. Went that for was it. an interesting safe shot, yeah. Looks like he put the wrong angle shot. Yeah. He meant to go into the nine and he went out. Well, I think it just took a lot more than he thought it was going to take. Didn't look like he really needed English to really get on the nine from the backside. Like that. Yeah. Good idea, though. Three rails for the seven, I guess. Yeah, which pocket are you shooting at, though? Oh, I mean, the closest the closest corner pocket that is that. Yeah, see so coming around. Oh, trunk. It's a scratch, but left a really, a really manageable shot for Devin here. Yeah. This is just a straight to the top. Come on. Devin? Like that. Oh, nice speed. Very nice speed. Yeah, it's like doing it behind the nine on that. Ben! Ben Smith in the chat. What's up, man? Hello, Wait, you know, that would be a good match. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know if we could talk Ben playing. Who? Probably not. Ben versus who? Ben playing uh, Chris. Huh? Ben's in the chat, the chat if you want to ask him. <laughs> I don't know if we'd be able to persuade Ben to come over here and play. He's played on this table before. Yeah, I don't know if he'd play the play string. Hello, sir. That would be a... I mean, I, if Chris is still around, Chris, have you played Ben before? You got smashed up. Do you think that would be a good match? Could be. Ann showed up. Andy showed up. Hey, ladies. Oh, How's it going? Andy's showing up. wonder if Chris is... Uh, I don't know if Chris is still in the chat. Taking a vacation. One pocket? I don't know if Chris plays one pocket. Chris plays one pocket. Does he? I believe he does. I think I've only ever seen him play nine ball. Or so probably, he'll probably tell you he doesn't. Play. And I can't <laughs> verify. I can't honestly verify that he does. But there's something in my brain that says that he does. It would be nice to have a nice one pocket match on here. It definitely be different though, five inch pockets versus yeah. like your four and a half. Yes, it would. Now, one thing I didn't realize, by the way, so I got just for the people at home that don't know, I, I got my brother set up with two nine foot diamond. Uh, tables, and I forgot that they had four and a half inch pockets on. So, yeah. <laughs> watching some uh, very amateur people play full on four and a half inch pockets, pockets. It's really, it's very interesting. But those tables are amazing. Those tables yeah. are so amazing. Yeah, we gotta take a road trip up there sometime. Oh, I'll take a road trip up there. I'm saying I need to go too. <laughs> I did not get the invite. Christmas man, Christmas party. Told you to come out. I told you did get the invite. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I told you to come out to the Christmas party. Oh. They were doing like quail hunting and stuff. Oh. I did not participate in the quail hunting. Oh, okay. 
Uh, Cheney kind of scares me when it comes to quill hunting. I hear that he's a little dangerous. Um, only if you have business deals with him, though. So if you have a business deal with Dick Cheney, don't go quill hunting with him. He's probably setting you up for something. Mm -hmm. I'll show you to not take that Halliburton deal. <laughs> you know what we could do sometime during break? What's that? Have a, an exhibition game. One pocket, on the little table. On the baby table? The little baby table. We can set up the camera right above it? Yeah. Oof, that'd be rough. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> he spun that too far. He had a good stroke on that. Yeah, he did. I don't think he was expecting an English to catch on the rail that good. Definitely caught. Wait, just a little bit. James is... Yeah, there you go. That's better. By the way, James is playing with, I want to say it's a Sean, but he has um, he has a Tsunami Shaft. Oh, really? He plays with, yeah. That has some good shafts. Oh, wow. He missed them. Yeah. There was a Sean Q a few years back. I was actually trying to pick up at the I just never took work out a deal with the guy who was selling it. It was a, it's, a, it's one of the older Sean's uh, from the original owner, but it's got skull inlaid on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that, uh, like that cue a lot. And, uh, the, the owner before the last owner had put a uh, Intel lizard wrap on it and everything. Okay. It was really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, he did it's a really good job on it. Don and Devin seem to be getting more comfortable. I'm not saying they're playing great. I'm not saying they're getting out. Saying <laughs> they're just starting to look more comfortable. That's true. We have yet to see a break and run. Well, you think no, we'll be this one for the next miss. Uh, then we will be coming up right now. Let's see him missing. It looks like he almost fell. The big shoes that he has on. Have a good trip. Yeah, down there pretty well. Wow. I did get down there. Nice shot. Good angle. Good angle. We get on the six, too. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't, like, not oh. hit this too hard. <laughs> well, he doesn't hit the soft. I think. Oh, no, no, no. no. There Just you go. Load it on now. Hell yeah. That was good. Play. No, that's actually, yeah, that's good. I mean, you want to play a draw shot here, but he's got a good angle. <laughs> the seven. Yeah, for sure. So. He was playing on the shorter side, but it's not yeah. a difference. Yeah, no. Oh, wow. Uh, he went, went to stick. He actually, I can't believe he missed that eight ball on that. He came yeah, close to clipping that. Was, that was a little bit more dangerous. Now. Like, maybe he just saw the shot. He felt good with it. Yeah, maybe he's warming up. And he just didn't, like, going that direction, he just didn't. The monitor made it. Yeah, just, like, well, he could speed. He did. Uh, these, uh, these pockets can jam me up sometimes. Side pockets can. I gotta think that he's gonna hit this the same way with a stun. Yeah, I think he's gonna draw it back. I think he's, he's, he has this. I don't think he's got the angle. He's, he's got the same stun. shot he just had. I don't think he's got the angle to stun this over. Okay, so he floated a four. Probably the better play. It's definitely the better controlled shot. Mm -hmm. I like drawing it back, but. Nice stroke. Well, that was a good stroke. That puts him ahead. Got him a nice little lead now. Yeah. Eight to four, eight to five. Now it's time to uh, see if James and Thomas can work through this. I think uh, I think John and Devin have been uh, practicing on uh, John's table or something. Oh, let's get these pieces back. Yeah. Let's... I mean, that is that's one thing that would give those two the advantage. They they've put a lot of work into preparing for this match. Yeah. Or I don't know how much Thomas and James have. I think James has been putting in a fair bit of work for it. Well, I think he's been playing a lot, but as far as them working together, playing together, I don't, I don't stuff know. like that. Is Thomas, Thomas doesn't live in uh, Georgia anymore, does he? No, but he seems to visit more. Does he? Okay. And, and I don't know how long he's been in town. He may have just, yeah. But, so that, that does make a difference. Is that if you have been working with each other for a couple of weeks or and yeah. really getting sort of synchronized with each other. 
get some good synergy between each other, then that's just, that goes a long way. And Speaking of, of synergy, if you haven't liked the stream, it is absolutely free to do, and it helps us immensely. You better hit that like button. It's free to hate it. Oh, yeah. If you want to hate it, too, hit the like button. Oh. That's how you let us know that you hate the stream. <laughs> you, you just had to hit a harder. Yeah. Really it's hit that Really hit that thing and hard. And it knows it. Click. Yes. And if you do like what we do, uh, subscribing uh, also is a good way to catch more of these streams. Maybe one day we'll see you on here. You guys feel free to comment. The algorithm loves comments. I actually would, I, I would actually like to do another stream on here one day. But cards don't seem to be in my favor. No. Well, we do all the commenting on here. Well, all the uh, comment commentating. So, Robbie Hall. Oh. Does he, can he make that? Do you have enough for him? I think he's got to bank it. Maybe he can bank this out. Andrew, thank, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm about to say, I didn't he think did he have it. Room. I don't think he did. Because I came very close to hitting my first, and he undercut that ball. Maybe he tried to cheat it. So I don't think he could have made it. He got him. Yeah, it definitely gave him a good uh, shape for the five, though, if he had been able to make it. Now, if you watch how the guys um, are even just walking around the table now, just their interactions. I mean, they don't really have too many direct interactions, but just the way they're approaching the table now, they sort of have a, a little rhythm going on. I think John's got his headphones in. I don't even think they're talking to each other. Well, no, I don't mean verbal communication. I'm yeah, I'm just body saying. language. Yeah, yeah. I was just, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, nonverbal. Right, nonverbal. Uh, just sort of relaxing. I should be able to hold this for the seventh. Robbie, what, little tournament up in LJ. I think I'm open as eight ball tomorrow. Eight ball. I, I think I might actually go if uh, Ben's going to be up there. Okay. So I think I might go maybe if we got time. Yeah, I may actually try to get up there. I'll be able to play. I'll get a. I do boring stuff and I've got things going on. A lot of stuff going on at the house, too. So. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably try to swing up there. Oh, looks like he miscued a little bit on that. Yeah, he didn't really make a full stroke, sort of let up on the stroke. So it's going to make this shot a little tougher to deal with now. That's what. He can't get underneath the nine. That's one thing about putting it to uh, extension on. That really throws some people off. Oh, yeah. I like playing with the extension. Now, if you're playing confident, you can shoot this and draw it. Draw it back across. Oh, wow. Stunned it over. I tell you what, he just got really good with that good stun shot. Yeah, he's shooting good. Been working on his tip placement, I guess. Yeah. I think playing on that uh, diamond he has also helps out. Robbie, are you going to uh, Apple County Country tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to watch some pig racing. Another one. Yeah, we are one game from doubling the score here. I was saying it's crunch time yet, but... Uh, it's not crunch time yet, but... James and Thomas are going to have to, uh, to start getting their act together. It does look like there's a... Uh, got some scotch doubles going on now. When are we going to play scotch doubles again? Man. Did Scott Shovel's partner still play with him? Uh, uh, still, yeah. Maybe we can play some Scott Shovel's. I can talk my partner into playing again. <laughs> we didn't do a few bad last time. Eight ball was definitely better than nine ball. <laughs> <laughs> I may, uh, I may try to make it on you. We'll see. Launching pad out. Oh, I guess I'm not going. Nisi just said, not us. 
managers that ain't gonna have it. I guess I guess I'm not going, Robbie. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, she, now she's asking well, what's in Apple Country. So there's a pool tournament tomorrow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Robbie, Robbie is donating. Uh, Robbie is dull dead money. Robbie Hall is going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a tough tournament, though. It really is. It is a tough tournament. From what I've heard, and I haven't been to it yet. The problem is it's so far away from so many people. Like, if it was closer, Chris Burbage would definitely would be going. But I don't think he would make the trip like that. Even though he should. Um, they did get all diamonds, though. They have all subfoot diamonds now. So what I heard. Yeah, they play well. Y'all gotta give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> now we can talk trash about you. Oh, wait. So, you guys out there, anybody else looking to go to Apple Country? County. I won't say county, but it's Apple Country. Way they like it out there. By the way, if you guys haven't been out there, you should. It's The, the equipment's nice, the, the owners are good people. Devin, I'm not sure what Devin was doing there. I'm not really sure what he was going to do his head on that one. All right, so this is going to give James and Thomas an opportunity to get some games back. This is a good opportunity for it. Um, it is an LJ, which is past ball ground for you on the other side of ball ground, Georgia. Um, ooh. Thomas, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Thomas. They're, they are just not focused. They're not, they're just not in it right now. And they're going to have to really soon because I have seen where Jonathan and Devin play. And if they're both confident, they're going to be really tough to beat from here on. See, uh, Nisi, that's why we should go. We should go up to LJ. We'll go stop by the uh, one of the orchards, get some apples. I'm sure they still have some good apples up there. There's a bunch of different apples they have. Some people are into the pink ladies, Fuji's, all that kind of good stuff. Andy Smith's. The green is like art. All right, well, that was an interesting shot. It's almost like Devin and Jonathan have just sort of gone off, their, off the grid a little bit. They both shot very weird, unnormal shots for them. All right, so with ball in hand, seems like a fairly typical run out. We've gone away from the Husky channel. We are now on to the camping and hiking channel. I hope you guys have any inputs for other hiking and looking at this. I'm really not sure how he's going. Now he's got to make a nice little draw stroke. He's going to stun it down. He may stun it down. To go between, and he's going to get away with it though. Or so, kick. Not really too far to jump at all. So as, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the chat. <laughs> Devin tries 
uh, and to kick into it too, rather, let's go right around it. It's uh, yet another opportunity for the uh, James and Thomas team. By the way, is anybody here uh, rooting for James and Thomas? I figure it should be some people. Guys out there uh, looking for one team or the other. Place a little stand shot in there. I'm just going to probably put a little bit down with it. Yeah, nice little floating shot. Really nice speed. This might be what they need to get themselves going. Fairly routine out from here. Decided to play the soft, more conservative. James is not. He it out. One rail. Come on in. We have a it's, a, it's a, it's a New Year's miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a post-Christmas, Christmas miracle. Hello, Nisi. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Been watching you guys up there in the in the stream. It's definitely warmer down here though. Uh Tim, we are actually doing coffee and soft drink. Well, I don't know. What does Nisi have? Okay, tonight hi Tim. Tonight's drink menu looks like a truly margarita style. This is mango chili flavor. But in my personal opinion, it does not stand up to the ranch water chili spice, spicy something, the prickly pear. Ranch water is much better. Go with the ranch water, folks. Get the ranch water. That's my personal opinion. And oh, right when they was getting things together, that is going to put Devin up. Five. Oh no, I'm sitting in the driver's seat. Yeah. Jerry, I hope you're out there because I can't put the score up in the chat. All right. The not then, you know what I meant to say, the camp ones. Are there camp spots, not the camo ones? I was wondering about that. Some camp. The O and the P are just so close together. But the not, but the not camo. I don't, want you to, I don't want you to find me. <laughs> you know, we're going to go up to Apple Country. We're going to play, lose really bad, and then just go, well, we were planning to go camp anyway, so oh, we're just going to hide in the woods. As well. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs> oh, where's old Jerry? I think Jerry already went out to go hang out with ladies. Oh, well, that's the thing to do. He, he always signs off and says, the ladies are waiting. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that, that one, the 12 days of Christmas? The 12. We should make up a 12 days ten, of day, Christmas. Ten, ten, right? lady, 10 ladies are waiting. The 12. I don't remember the song now. Oh, what? The 12 days of Christmas. What you say to me? I just, it's a complete break. What? I mean, uh, you, you need to do the, the Doug and oh. 12 Days of Christmas, the Canadians, the Rick Moranis. Which one is that? Old. It's too old for you. No, like, I can't even remember the 12 Days of Christmas song, so my okay. rank can go. So let's see. You give me a, a beer. A beer that my true love gave to me. A oh, beer. Beer. <laughs> You have, you've never seen that bit, huh? No. You're going to have to take a look at that bit. You're going to have to send it to me. Yes. So watch it at some point. Oh, we 
I don't know, 30 years old, maybe older. But a bunch of crazy Canadian, funny Canadians. What you what do you uh, what's your thoughts on this match so far? Um, I stayed. Hey J W, thanks for liking. Um, they were neck and neck for the longest time. They were going back and forth, back and forth. Um, I know that. So every winter, the shop is a like it's a metal shop. So the insulation, it's there, but it's not like you know you're warm, you're comfortable. You could say it's black. It, sometimes a little bit. Um, and so in the winter, it can get a little cold, um, especially like on the sides and where like the doors are because, you know, it's a shop. Um, but today, well, John got a diesel heater that just pumps out heat. Like, like it feels like you're standing next to a fire. Like, you know, I don't know. My mom did this. I love to do this. He's standing right next to the fire and you can just like feel the heat. Yeah. Almost like burning, but it feels good. <laughs> you feel yourself roasting. Yeah, you feel like the smell. Yeah. It's kind of like so. Good. Yeah, the, the diesel heater you got is one of those. Uh, basically, it's a it's a jet engine. It, and it sounds like it yes. too. Yes. I don't know if you guys listen when it's quiet and you hear that like in the background. That's the heater, but that's working really well. So much so that if you go back to the beginning of the stream. You can see all the players are wearing like hoodies and like all the all their like warm stuff. And I told them, make sure you bring an extra jacket. But now they're that's how I was saying like they're literally warmed up because hmm. they've gotten comfortable and now they're like take their that's jackets good. off and they're got their short sleeves on. And not only that, it's not like the heaters in the room with them. No, it's like right here. It's outside a different area and it's just blowing through the door. Huh? It's completely heating up through the door. Yeah, it's a really nice heater. Yeah. It's a really nice one. Ah. Hey, I tell you what, this is, this, well, it's lovely, but, man, I, I'll say this. Both players, both uh, James and Thomas, is not playing anything that I was expecting today at all. So. I think I've seen James play before, um, but I think it was... Either last year or year before, year before that. Um, I've seen Thomas play. I think he's been on the stream at least a couple of times. I've seen him play in Vegas. I've seen him play in person many times. Um, oh, what a shot. And he's going to get a pretty good roll out of it, too. Wow, that was nice. So you've... Uh... Hey. Hey. It ain't over till it's over. Oh no, it's not over. It's not over. I'm just, I'm, I'm really surprised on how well. I mean, how both of these players are just not up to their potential at all. But I also will say this: I also love, 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 love a comeback. I don't care who's. Oh darn it! I don't care who's <laughs> like winning, who's losing. I'm always gonna be like, okay, it's okay. They got this. Only like five. More. They're almost there. They're almost there. I'm always, I'm always gonna. So I'm, I'm playing on stream. I'm always rooting for the underdog. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just wondering if that wasn't, if you're not immune to the commentator curse too, when you're like, you know, it's, it's not over, and they have a comeback, and then they at least got strong. Well, the thing is, they, well, um, they yeah. can't even hear us right now. Well, no, no, they can't. Which is awesome. It is. I've noticed that, like, because I was up in the, in the far removed commentator's booth, all the way. There, that I can really tell the difference from the way that you guys are kind of thinking about the the next play and like talking about it. It's much more open. Yes. It's not so much like the download video host like right. really secret stuff. Right. No. Um, they comment on. Oh. oh speaking uncharacteristic. Oh, he was disappointed by that. And of course, with our, you know, we had the. Uh, other look we could have seen the pirouette by John. The pirouette? What is the pirouette? Oh, uh, yeah, it's just like, oh, damn it. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Maybe you're good luck for 
Danza Thomas. Oh, oh maybe. I haven't really done much till you got here. And, you know, Let's see. It's more of a job that's contribution to the game. Ten to six, right? I need everybody to double check my score because I, I kind of messed it up earlier. That was my that was totally my bed. Oopsie. Couldn't tell who was shooting with their hands. Looked like somebody else. Anyways. The score oh. is ten to six. And we've got to be able to identify uh, hands. I really Sleeves. wish there. I really wish we had a team of twenty people yeah. to really just man the whole stream, and you guys could just talk. Or oh, Priscilla, thank you. Or you know what we could do? Because we could get little stamps, people's names on it. You stamp both of their hands with a stamp, oh, and then when their hand, when you have the overhand look, and then they put their hand on it, it'll say their name. Under hand, you're like, oh, okay. Well, there, there. We know that's, who's that's, doing we, this. Yeah. <laughs> that actually be kind of funny. I think it'd be so distracting to the players. I get you have to wear they a get, flip. They get down and look at their hands. They see their hands. Their name is on their hand when they're making a bridge. Is that really distracting? Uh, like to see things that I guess that you're not like used to on your hand. Yeah. That's something the brain isn't used to seeing. It's like that's yeah. interesting that you kind of like tune it out. I never really thought about it. Your brain goes does crazy things sometimes. Bringo burr. Okay, Alex Anderson says he will bet his life savings on Devin. Alex, is that like two dollars? Is that like two million dollars? Like what kind of bet are we working with? <laughs> but not Jonathan, just Devin. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, what Devin that missed that shot last? You know, every time Devin plays on stream, I've noticed this. He has a huge fan club on YouTube. Doesn't matter if it's just him or if it's <laughs> like doubles YouTube. Uh, that's Devin's spot right there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uncharacteristic misses by uh, by both James and Thomas. I mean, all of them have been once in a while, but it's just been consistent right now. They're just, they're, they're not, they're not clicking. Is he, is he gonna jump? Uh oh. Yeah, he's not gonna jump, right? Uh oh, he's gonna jump, everybody. Maybe, uh, let's see if we're gonna be with a full queue. Nope. No, that is not anyone. Not being broken down. Doing a sidearm. It's, uh, Not a bad attempt. Came in a little full. Thomas is up next. Coming in on the two. What if while I'm sitting here, they make a complete comeback and it's tied up 10 10 again? And John's going to come And then John comes back and then it totally <laughs> flips the other way. Screaming going off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Like, Sounds like John. Sounds like a good time for over. No, no, no. Hey, Buck, we didn't see you. I saw Buck. I saw Buck. What? You didn't say. Well, you were, you were in men speech. Oh, Wait, I thought that was kind of a thing. We just all interrupt each other. You can't interrupt an easy, an easy. Yes, you can. That's you nice. know, if Kevin's here, hey, Kevin, um, I ordered a shirt. Like, I used my Facebook profile to order a shirt on um, Forsyth Local. So, hey, can somebody print me a shirt this week for Christmas? Which is a whole other story. And this lady responded and said, sure, I can print it for you. So she did. She did a great job. Right. Uh, lovely Lady Crafts, if you guys need sublimated shirts, she does a great job. Sublimated? Yes. Do you know what that is? I would tell you. Does so, the shirt go from like the solid to a gas really quick? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Good one, Michael. It's for science class. I don't even remember that in science class, I'll be honest. You don't remember sublimation. Science class. All right, so what's a sublimated shirt? So a sublimated shirt, I don't know how it works. I'm sure somebody on here can tell me. But you can basically print it out, like your design, and then they heat it, and it, like, fuses into the fabric. It's not like a screen print where you can feel it. 
Anyways, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, so lovely lady crafts him coming. She did a great job. But she uh, said, hey, can you pick it up from a mailbox? I said, no problem. I picked it up out of the mailbox and it said Nisi. And I was like, oh, that's me. The Nisi. <laughs> that's my name on the piece. That's, uh, no, that's Nisi, the, Nisi. the Nisi. Yeah, so. Oh, man. Nice kick. Nice kick. Not sure if you've been too many favors that would make it up. You need to see what he's looking at. Yeah, so that's my sublimated shirt story. You have it with you? Uh, Yeah, I have it uh, up in the. I got two. I got a medium and a large. I only needed the large. And then I ordered another one. Oh, I need to return. That's going to be so cheap. Cheap wheat gas right there. That's not real. Did you say wheat gas? Wheat like gas. Wheat gas. It's not strong. Not a strong gas. I thought you said wheat like oh. the bread, like W A T. Wheat. E A T. Wheat gas. Well, yeah, that might have been gas. About made. as strong about. Yeah, it might have been gas made by wheat instead of corn. Instead of get there. Womp womp. Womp womp. Okay, so fun fact about the sublimated shirts. So it's Christmas Eve. I'm setting the scene. Jerry, Jerry's back. Okay, okay. Now we can talk about whatever. Jerry's back. Uh, <laughs> we were worried about you, buddy. You didn't say anything for a long time. <laughs> um, okay. So let me set the scene. It's Christmas Eve, right? What do you do on Christmas Eve? Well, in John's family, they play games, you eat, you have fun, you laugh. Good times, good stuff. So we are on our way to their house. At the racetrack in Canton, we stop for a coffee and a water. Normal stuff. We love racetrack. Oh, just missed. That's big mess. Good stroke, too. Just missed. We stop for a coffee and a water. We went to get back in the car. Click, 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 click. And we were like, oh, it's just the battery, no yeah. problem. We'll just get a jump start. Triple A guy just happens to like be there. We're like, hey, can you oh, jump our That's pool? a little convenient. It was oddly convenient. So he jumps it. We're good to go. It starts. We're good. We said, thank you so much. Then we start to drive off. We go about five feet ahead of us. Car dies. The windshield wipers start going off. Things start flickering. I mean, it was like. Looks like a little, like, you know, little possessed. I know, I know that. Yeah, I know how that is. Okay, yeah. So then uh, we're like, hey, we call AAA. We're like, hey, we're actually stuck this time for real. Because we called somebody. Um, they said, yeah, we'll be right there. But then that other triple guy, AAA guy showed up. Said, oh, hey, we don't need you. But then the car died. So said, hey, we actually really need you for real this time. And so then uh, we're getting all our stuff out of the car. And I'm like, okay, cool. I've got my purse, you know, I've got all the stuff that I brought into the car. What did I leave in the car? Um, the keys. The same shirt. The, the sublimated shirts, that's a Christmas gift. I still haven't given it because it's still stuck in there. That's and then the keys to the truck. You don't have to worry about next year then. That next year is taken care of. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. But I already told this person that. Oh. It's not a shirt for you. I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, anyways, <laughs> so, oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, it's, it's, thanks. For, no problem. I will, I will let everybody know. Well, your gift is in the little blue car. Oh, which just have another place. fond name for it, but I'm not going to say it. I'm like, no. Here we go. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay, we're just looking to get back on the board. There we go. What? Oh, man. Uh, two games. Two. Oh. Uh, so Nisi, the Nisi effect is in play. The Nisi effect. Nisi, the Nisi effect is in play. The Nisi, Nisi effect. Nisi, Nisi. Effect. Why don't you make yourself Michael the Michael? Oh, I don't need everybody. Coming after that. Besides, you don't want to do that. I saw somebody call I saw you, somebody call you earlier Roldy. Roldy, yeah. Is, is that a fond nickname? Yeah, that's a that's a new one actually. Oh, it's new. Yeah, it's, oh. I've had that one before. I've had plenty of other. I've had a lot of different. People. Do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah, Michael. It's my favorite. That's not a nickname. That's your name. No, not really. No. No. I think we're taking a break. 
I mean, perfect time to talk about this. What is in the package? Oh, are we doing promotions? Yes. We're doing promotion for Amazon now. What kind of money we get? That's awesome. Get some Amazon. Amazon dough. Yeah, get some Amazon money. Did you know we're rolling in the Amazon dough? Okay. Can you guess what is in are this? Let me see your address and everything. It's like, be right now. Let me screen cap. They have screen capture and blowing that stuff up. No, they have yours because your address is written on your license plate, which is your forehead. Anyways, can you guess what's in the Amazon package? Um, I'm guessing it's, it's not. It's very a small. It's not a car. You're right. It's very small. It's you a, can see through it. It's a, it's a Christmas card. No, can it's a tip. Tip. Yes, you can. Oh. From myself, I needed to order a tip. Oh, oh! I thought you meant like somebody gave me twenty dollars as a tip. Oh, oh no! A Q-tip, Michael. Oh. A Q-tip. Okay, so this Q-tip, yes. So you can order Q-tips off of Amazon. They're fine. They're great. Um, I'm a certified Kamui tip installer. Yes. One of three, certified. three females people, in the world. People have told me you're certified. Ha 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 ha! Good one. Um, but this is a Kamui saw. It's a black, but I like this one better than the clear. And why is that? I'll tell you why. Tell so me. with the clear, there's like a little clear pad on the side, but you need to put some denatured alcohol. And it's supposed to stick right onto it. No, no, like scuffing or anything like that. I don't know why. I don't feel comfortable with that. For some reason, I feel like it's going to pop off. Really? And I have had times where I've stuck it on there and left it on there for 10 plus minutes, especially in the wintertime. You got to let it stick for a little bit longer, um, but it still pops off. So for me, I personally prefer this just like plain tip because you can rough it up, you scuff it up, and you really get some good adhesion. Yes. And that's, I like that much better. Um, so, just uh, wanted to share but this. But you can't scuff up the other pack? No, you're not supposed to. What? I thought I thought you were supposed to because Mr. Kevin, who taught me how to do tips, is awesome, uh, told me to scuff it up. But when I talked to the company installer, they said, scientifically, you're not supposed to do that with clears. Oh. And I don't know why, I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like you don't like new technology, huh? Oh no, 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 no! You gotta stick with the old stuff. Stick with what stick works. With stuff. You gotta stick with what works. But yeah, I do prefer just the soft. So I was really glad that somebody said nope, just the soft. I was like, oh, phew. Also, it says glue on the well, back. Yeah, they have to tell you what side. Well, no well with the clear, there's no glue sticker. What's, what's with the side? What's happening on the side of the tent? Though? It's a t sticker. What it, what's it say? Don't peel that off though, because that's my favorite part. <laughs> I just want to know what it says. It's well, here, give it to me. So I can read it. It says. That's upside down. That's sideways. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a barcode. It's a barcode. Well, it's like a, like a model number. Serial number. Yeah, that's what I meant. Serial number. Old people do. Actually, okay, I'm glad that you're bringing this up. My grandpa has an iPad. If you have an iPad, they have an app on there that is a magnifying app. And what you can do is you can hold up your iPad to like, like a barcode or something small or like your mail or whatever. And you can take a temporary picture of it and then, so you can hold it up, take your picture, and then bring it back to a place that's comfortable for you. And then um, zoom it in and kind of highlight and do what you need to do. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome, Apple. Oh, my camera. Right. But if you don't have that, and you have an iPad, just trying to help the homies out. It's really good. What does it say? Go to www.kamuibrand.com slash sn. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Say it one more time because I'm going to look it up. www.kamuibrand.com slash sn. Oh, I've already visited this site. 
That's the end. Yeah. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. It didn't say anything. I think I spelled it wrong. Come movie. Brand. Michael's gonna look it up for this. Black. Oh, they're back, they're back, they're back. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. What it is, is that you can look to see if it's an authentic movie. How come mine didn't come up? So, this is, uh... Is it? S2P. S I'll read it to you. S2P K7Y. Ooh, we're gonna find out if this is authentic. I really hope it is. I'm certainly not a robot. <laughs> so yeah, it's a way of finding out if you're a tip. Does it match? Does it look like a Kamui black? So it's okay. showing this little Kamui thing. Have a picture. Does that match? Yes, it's a picture. Fourteen millimeter. It yeah. says it matches. Congratulations. It's like we won the lottery. Except not. So what's interesting is this tip was made and it was shipped to the Netherlands. Why? It was shipped to the Netherlands and it found its way. Probably, it was shipped to a distributor in the Netherlands who probably sold it to a... I bought it from on Amazon from Billiard City, I believe, and they're based out of Alabama. Yeah. So Which I like them. They, I've ordered from other tip distributors on Amazon and they've sent me the wrong stuff. Like a couple different times. It's very frustrating because if somebody, like right now, somebody's asking for this tip, but yeah, it'll be here on, you know, whatever, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I can get your tip done then. And typically people have one plain queue. So if they need a tip done, they need their tip done. Um, so if I get the wrong thing, typically. Yeah. It is bothersome. Alright, so after uh, after this little break, break a Rooney. Maybe uh, maybe James and Thomas has got their group going again. Baker Morgan coming in hot. Kyle, I think I did your tip, your clear tip. Oh. By the way, if anybody ever gets their tip done for me, if you need a shape up, just let me know. Bring it by the house, and I'll shape it up real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Michael trusted me with his tip, and that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> he was just like watching. I said, I need you to go somewhere else. I was just, yeah. oh my gosh. Magnifying glass. Oh, mm. big old magnifying glass. I yeah, know. like I could feel it. It's kind of like when you focus the magnifying glass with the light, and it just like burns it. That's how I felt. So it was just so much. Oh, man. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Happy holidays. And we'll see you later. Yes. Every tip gets mushroomed after a little while. Every new tip needs to be different at some point. Yeah, they get kind of flat. Yeah. No, they get like swollen on the side. Yeah, it'll mushroom. That's, every tip will do that. Now, the harder to tip, the fewer times you'll need to get it reshaped. The softer tip, you may have to get it reshaped two or three times. You know what's funny, though, is the Kamui Blacks uh, without a spacer on it seem to do really well. Like, they don't really seem to mushroom very much. Yeah, I mean, but any any soft tip, just the nature of it, it's going to. Even if you put tons and tons of layer on it, it's still going to have that little bit of mushroom effect so it's just normal normal and be careful i think the elk masters are actually a softer tip than the uh super softs movie which so is fine we're, we're testing a, a theory out here if you have an experience this science experiment <laughs> since you left and nisi came james and thomas won every game they won both games huh? sure. now the question is now that you're back yeah am i the am i the uh, bad luck. You're either the bad luck or Nisi is the good luck. What? I don't know. Well, this is it. Because John is still up on the table. <laughs> Just saying, this is what happened. I mean, John ended up missing a fairly routine nine ball. Really? Oof. Wow. Going 
going to be a yeah, Who's up, Thomas? Uh, that would be yeah, Thomas. Yeah. Thomas Walking up to the table. Yeah, Thomas is coming up. Uh, okay, the this eight might be a little interesting here. That is true, because you really don't want to spend this too much. Yeah. You really, I kind of, I want to put outside on this. I have lots of money to control. Got to drawing it. Definitely gonna help you, but I think you're gonna get the same effect if you put outside. Yeah, well, the question is how much that spin takes off the second well. It's gonna gain speed. That's yeah, that's gonna be the rough part. And you're also so he decided to not play it, he just went the long way around. Oh, he hit it. I mean, he got shape on it. Well, he did. That's the good news. But he left him. That goes back and, to the so maybe this maybe I am bad luck. That goes back to the question about is do you shoot the easier shot to tough for? It should be. I, I think in this case, it's not just not a tougher way in order to get easier. I think in that case, I would have actually got the easier shot and just left the worst shape. Yeah. And that's the other thing that I guess plays a big difference in people. Uh, especially a lot of scotch doubles. Exciting. If they don't play a lot of scotch doubles, a lot of people feel like they have to give better shape to their partner. Otherwise, they feel like they failed as a partner. Yes. That's not the case. Sometimes making the ball is yeah. going to fill your partner less. <laughs> yes. No. And to me, if, you, if you're trying to get perfect shape every time, I mean, if you're going out of your way to get perfect shape, it almost shows a, a certain amount of distrust in your partner that they can't do. They, you know, they can't do their job. I, I, think, I think it's fair in some situations, but yeah. not, at, not in this situation. I, don't, I, don't, I think that it's not fair in the... Because all these players are pretty good. Yeah. Right? You're not going to see these players playing on Scotch Doubles APA. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean, I agree with that. But there's there's that thing is there's a lot that goes on in the brain that you may not even realize while you're playing. You're just, you know. Oh, for sure. Forward. A lot of it's that. A lot of people, when they play Scotch Doubles, they almost take it as personal. They take so much personal responsibility. Like, they have to be more caretaker than just... Partners. Oh, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. I've just missed what is that five balls in a row or four? Yeah, that's a lot. Four or five shots in a row. But here's, I mean, like this is this this one is kind of routine. Yeah, or, it's not close up. No, no, no. Okay, so that's just the uh, the turbine, the the jet turbine that's probably heating us up too. The jet turbine is heating up the entire shop. He's even saying it's really warm down up, downstairs up the block. Too. What am I watching? Um, six balls in a row. I, I guess eight. I guess APA is, six. APA is watching now, so get the innings in. Making sure the Fargo is good. That is right in the. Are you watching this? This is uh, this is crazy. This wasn't what? happening before you got here. What is going on? This was not happening. Maybe we let Nisi come back in here because what is going on? Maybe I should get on YouTube in here and see what happens. Who knows what happened? Wow. He even drew that back a little. Drew that, like, I mean, that wasn't like feet. too bad. He did not draw a funny feet, but he did draw it a little yeah, ways. I think it to him. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I think they just down. want to get back in. <laughs> we'll Fuck this game. Let's get a new game going on. Oh, I've been there. Oh, yeah. We've, We've all, all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking crap. Right. Right. All right, so I can't really say that you showing up is. <laughs> well, they won. Back around. Then eight. Had to make up. Maybe it's Ben. Ben had said at 10 fives, like, it's not over yet. Maybe Ben's the one that's caused all this. Maybe caused all this. That's a good break. This is runnable rag right here. You gotta say it. I'm not saying it's going to get ran, but I think that's a runnable rack. It is a runnable rack. 
Alex apparently said that he tuned in at a bad time. <laughs> yes, he did. That was, <laughs> that was the worst game we've had. Uh, by far. And, and it's not, I'm not saying that we've had a lot of good games. I'm saying that there's been there's been no break and runs. This might be the break and run. It's going to happen. I don't think people really had a big thread with break and runs. No, not even close. Uh, it's both, both sides of the big mistakes. One inning game. I mean, I would say overall, Devin and Jonathan's been playing better. Uh, certainly more cohesively, but good things happen sometimes. Uh huh. Well, James and uh, Thomas were ahead at the beginning. Oh you know, well, yeah. Devin and John came back. What? And, and built up a really strong lead. Why? I don't, I don't understand the purpose of doing that. Like, why not just cut it? Yeah, I. I to tell you, unless he just really wanted to hold on to that cue ball. Yeah, that was a lot of chaos there. I needed chaos. Oh. I'll tell you, James, this is very unlike James. Is it? Yes. He's had a couple of... You know, we've seen... That's... We've seen that a few times on the stream, though, where we get somebody who comes to this table the first time, and they're really just struggling to... Yeah. Play on street. Now you know what I wonder about shots like that because he undercut it. He he undercut it quite a bit, um, which makes me wonder how much of it could be. Uh, I mean, he's played on the table four once. Yeah, and yeah. So, twice. twice. And, and as a lot of people like to mention on the stream, that boy, this table looks easy. His you know, boxes are huge, and they are, the table is forgiving. But if you go in with the idea that the table's going to be giving, you're going to get lax, very, very lax daisy, very complacent, and not focused, and just shoot shots like that. You just undercut, thinking, oh, it's going to slide in anyway. It's not a big deal. Not maybe thinking yet consciously, but subconsciously, you're like, oh, okay, not a big deal. Yeah, you do get a little okay. more relaxed on tables like yeah. that. What's funny, though, is like I get relaxed on like tight pockets sometimes and then make everything. You go for this combo? I think you kind of have to. You don't hit it hard. You don't spear it in. It was soft, let it roll in. It's fine like that. Oh, but he, he actually overcut that ball. Okay. That is a shot you want to play to undercut and just sort of go into the rail. But being as close to the rail as you can just play into the rail and let it slide in. What about if you don't hit hard? What about Alex? Alex play Chris Burbage? Um. That would be a pretty interesting match. They're both nine ball players. <laughs> that would be an interesting, interesting match. You get a phenolic tip redone. Just glue it on. Well, it depends if it's a tip and a feral combination thing. Or if it's just the it's just a, it's just a tip, and I mean it's mainly like putting on a regular tip, except for it's going to tear your, tear up your, shaping, your hey, legs. Can you try to play safe on that? Because they're so hard. Right. Most people don't do not like doing phenolic tips. Really? Yeah, because it tear, tears up your foot. Does it? It's too hard. Yeah. It's really rough on your on your legs. I guess if you can sharpen your own stuff, it wouldn't be too bad. So, Nisi and I were talking about, you know, when you're looking at the overhead, yeah. it's hard to tell, you know, if you just show up who's shooting. So, I have the idea of getting stamps, getting people's name, stamps in their hand. On their hands. <laughs> <laughs> you can see who's shooting. Sticker on a glove. That would be distracting. That's what I said. She's like, you'll try to strike it. I'm like, yeah. Your brain's not used to seeing that. <laughs> not going to like it. All right, Thomas is up. He's got a uh, SA. I, I, I believe he's going to hit this with inside. I think. He got enough angle. I just see he hitting this with top. No, he's actually going to go two rails, it looks like. He's queuing it up like he's going to get the rails. 
Now he's going to go one rail with outside. That's it's going away from the shot. Going huh. I don't think he meant to put the outside on it. I think that he uh, he thought that it was going to go towards the ball. Maybe he meant more of a stun shot or just... But, yeah, I mean, he didn't really hit it with the top. He was just trying to get one rail, but Reggie yeah. was trying to get a little closer to the eight. Left James a little bit harder of a shot than he needed to. I actually like banking the shot. The top. Yeah. Because with top, you can play shape on the nine, and if you miss, you miss high, and it comes back to the bomber rail. Just like that? Yes, sort of like that. That's a good shot. I think I would have hit it that hard, made it, then you'd left it a tougher shot for your player, unless, unless you played the safe the whole way. Very well could have been. It's not a bad shot. Jonathan's got to figure out what he is going to do here. Yes, I took the knife out of the refrigerator. You are correct. Thank you for putting that on the stream. The harvest loves. What's in the fridge? Without a knife. He tried to get behind that. I was wondering if he was going to try to hit behind that, but you have to hit that full and you got to hit that really well to try to hit that. I can say tough. Yeah. That is a pretty tough shot to get on. This, this little one rail stunner. Yeah. Bend it over. Got all that one. Got it over. Thank nice you. Shot. Thank you, Matt. Uh, jinxed uh, John and Devin a little bit. It wasn't me, it was Nisi. Was it Nisi? What'd she say? She sat down. Uh, okay. Yeah, she just. Well, I remember down. you saying that they were playing very cohesively. Oh, yeah, they were. <laughs> Nisi showed up, she got in the booth, and suddenly they haven't won a game since. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, I don't have to say. Sorry, guys. I can't help when Nisi shows up. <laughs> there it goes. 10 to 9. Almost got like a. Yeah, Kyle, it's something you got to practice, man. You know, you got to have a good stroke and you got to aim low. Don't be afraid to get Almost too... touch the cloth. Don't be afraid to get too low. You can make the. You can put the Q tip a lot further away from the center of the cue ball than you probably think. Do any of these guys play straight late or mostly with a close bridge? I haven't really noticed. I don't know. I, I know. So I'm not really 100% sure. To be honest with you, I don't really pay too much attention to people's bridge other than if it looks like it's like uh, like a good bridge or a bad bridge. So that's the thing, Kyle. You can't get paranoid of messing up. You have to, matter of fact, you just have to push it where that to the point that you do mess up so you know your limits. Yeah, that is true. If you, if you do anything to prevent something, then you're never going to way to sell it at what you need to be doing. I mean, that goes with any part of the pool. It's drawing at it, putting top, extreme right, slips, cuts. I mean, find your find your limits on everything. See if you can't push it just a little bit. Yeah, because I guarantee you can push your limits a lot further than you probably think you can. I mean, the interesting thing to me is that a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people I'm close to putting enough top or putting queuing up high enough for top to let certain shots take. Or they're having to overstroke a ball because they're trying to get a lot more top on it. Or they think they're putting a lot, but a lot might only be like maybe a half a tip or a tip. Well, I mean it's but it's certainly not as high as you could possibly go. Oh no. You two and a half tips. Yeah, you go up you really too high. You can make a nice small, smooth stroke and that cue ball will take off on you. Yeah, that's for sure. Just wanna make sure you get a chalk. Yeah, that's good to have almost every shot that's going to be hitting uh, outside of the cue ball. Oh, he almost rattled. Hitting the edge of the cue ball. He rattled the crap out of that one. But still yeah, this is interesting. The uh, You could see their, their, the way they're uh, approaching shots, the way they're acting shots. It's uh, not that Devin's not quite as confident as they were earlier. Maybe they took a short break and then they kind of rattled them a little bit. Oh. They're locked. That was a good shot. That was a fine shot. That was a great recovery. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't get better than that. That was a great shot. And you just gotta kind of like put. This is actually one of those shots. You gotta put enough tops on this. So uh, speak, roll down. Speaking of uh, apple country, apple country. We were talking about apple country. Sure. All right. The tournament going on, and people are asking who's there. I'm, I think Alex. Alex, are you planning going to LJ tomorrow? If you're still in the chat. Oh, that's a nice. Whoa. Okay, that's a good angle right there. Do you like that? Yeah. And I can't tell if he went actually down a little bit too far to get good shape on the six. I think I think he can actually Yeah, really take it draw it. That's what I was saying. Like he, I think he gotta draw it. I don't I don't think he can play top to get there. Yeah, but I don't think I mean this isn't really a massive draw shot here. I don't know. I just, I don't think well, he said top though. It's like you check. Is he gonna run into the nine? Oh he missed it. Yeah, room. Where are you going to go with the six? Behind eight. Walking away from the table, a little bit disappointed yeah. after that one. I mean, you can see it on his face. Yeah, I'm not sure what he had in mind on that shot, though. I mean, you're going to be going by the six so closely, you can't really play shape for the corner. She was going for three for the side, going in, just not being behind the eight. We got a little jump shot. Not a bad attempt, and he's going to get Ooh. not lucky at all. I think we were going to get lucky for a second there. Yeah, I thought he had a chance, but I mean, the only redeeming thing is the fact that he might be slightly jacked up over the nine, but he's pretty straight, even though it's a huge pocket, creating an angle. James, I think actually, I think James will be fine. He'll just most likely. I just like drawing this back a little. Give so a little bit of pocket. pocket. Yeah. Just like that. Pocket. Come back with it. I was thinking of cheating the other side of the top. Uh, that's not a bad way to do it either. You just got to watch out for the eight if you do it that way, but. WWSVB do. A one rail or two rails, maybe. Such a long bridge. Such a long bridge for that shot. Thomas seems like he's struggling a little bit today. Yeah. It's kind of un. Uh, what's the right word? Unbecoming? Unnatural. It's kind of unnatural for Thomas. This is not his yeah, uncharacteristic. Becoming, though, is an interesting term. Becoming. <laughs> if he keeps shooting like that, he may become less becoming. <laughs> oh, this at least Devin and John will maintain their lead. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. Oh. Point this out really quick. And 11 and 9. I forgot to mention earlier, we have stars activated now on a uh, rip player. So if anyone feels like they want to donate to us, feel free to leave us some stars. Which is kind of cool because we could not get it activated last time because Facebook does not like us. Oh, they've seen your content? No, they've probably seen all my comments on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> you need a separate account. Like this guy was talking shit about Biden. Fuck that guy. No stars for you. You need, you, need to, <laughs> you need to start a new Facebook called Unhinged John. Unhinged John, that's a good one. <laughs> and, and, Unbe and, uh, Unbe 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 John. <laughs> Unbecoming John. John Unbecoming. And then, and then, and then you can do all the exactly. insane stuff you want to do. Then I can post all the weird shit that I like to post. I've, ta I've tailored it back a little bit. <laughs> I've tailored it back from what I used to post. You know what still surprises me, though? I'm going to get off topic for here for just a little bit. So what still surprises me is how many people actually wear masks at the airports. That's that's still like a pretty crazy one for me. I'm curious how many people still wear masks while driving their car. I have seen that quite a bit recently. I've seen a dude, and I'll tell you the only place that I see this at is Whole Foods. 
because I stop to get my food at Whole Foods a lot of times when I'm traveling. Wow. And I'll see people at Whole Foods yeah. driving away in their car by themselves with a mask on, and I'm like, why? Why? That, by the way, was a nice shot. That was a good That was a shot. really good shot. Oh my God. Got a really good angle on this one. Really? That was, that was a really good shot, too. Yeah. I remember they're picking up some steam here. They won a game and then let's go. Yeah, this seems the way they go as soon as they get some confidence. Good job. Nice rhythm. Something happens, they don't quite maintain it. So. This is uh, looking promising. They have to catch their gear together, <laughs> they have to mesh. Yes. That's a good shot. Ox is watching, like, I used to play this guy. <laughs> Wonder if Alex got on for the two minutes watching them miss shot. He's like, I don't want to watch this game. Mark. I don't want to watch this. I don't, I don't know, know what's going on. This is going to hurt my pool game if I keep watching this. Hey, Alex. I mean, if you're still in the chat, though, we might have found you a match. Let's know. Finally, what's up? We're, we're talking about Alex Westway, not Alex Anderson. Uh, Alex Anderson would be fine. <laughs> he is still rooting. He got Devin, 100% of Devin. Let's go. It's all in with Devin. Stay away, so watch this shot. One round on side. That ball is still spinning in the pocket, too. Oh, wow. And I think he actually hit it just right so that he could avoid the nine. If you throw this back and completely avoid the nine. Yes. Yep, he did. Yes. That way there's no controversy. Nobody can say anything about the hit. I like that shot. Yeah, and now you can see they're sort of pumped up together now. 12 9. Yeah. Bumping knuckles. knuckles. Ready. Okay, you said beautiful. Yes, that was pretty. I like need more coffee. Oh, God. Nice break. Got the wing ball, a ball. Well, control the one on the cue ball would be a bit more desirable if you hold it to center. This would be rain, right? That is one thing I've noticed about this match is, uh, James and Thomas seem to have controlled the cue ball a lot better than Devin and John do right now, but it doesn't really help too much when you're not running the rack. Well, I'd say yeah, yeah, and you have to have the opportunity to break too. Yeah, well, they've had a lot of opportunities. Well, yeah. Oh, that was a good shape right there. Oh yeah. Can I just stun over for the three and then shoot it in for the four? This might be a run He might. He might jack up with this ball just a little. Jacked up over it. Ah. Broke. Just ball. Maybe it hits off the left. Just, oh, 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 that's oh. a little bit too calm. That's no, a little bit. That's a little bit too. That's uh, that He really lit up on that stroke. Yeah, he did. But I think the idea was just to uh, hold it like that. Dude. It almost looked like he was actually happy with that. Yeah, but it almost looked like he hit it off on the left or the right oh, side then, a little bit. Yeah, so. I think uh, it's bad. He just gave up on the stroke. I mean, that was a lot of deceleration to that ball. But one thing I've realized, that, like with a lot of players, is they really struggle to keep their cue lower on uh, shots like that. Like for some reason, they choose to have an open bridge instead of a closed bridge on those. But you're going to get lower with a closed bridge. That's so kind of weird to me. I like that shot. I like that shot a lot. That yeah, that was a good shot. Just keeping it. Oh, that's perfect. I think right in like, line for it. Yeah. That's just textbook. Oh, well, shot actually leaves. Oh, maybe a little bit too far. More angled than he meant to. He got a little excited, but yeah. you can go two rails to still get on the nine pretty easily. Yeah, or you could just hold it. You could just shoot it, kind of hold it with the cue ball on the table. It's playing. It's lower, so he's not going to. John does not shoot that style. 
Yeah, I, still have I, I don't. Play. I don't think he's gonna hold this. He's gonna come in two. I think it would be hard to hold. Perfect. Uh, put him on the rail. Yeah, a little bit off the rail. Yeah, let's be straight. careful about that dark rail without getting too close. Yeah, yeah never, some, some people really, really struggle on that playing off the rail. Yeah, I mean, I would never leave people on the rail. So it's not a problem. Oh, the first breaking run we've had. Yeah, that's true. Here it is, the breaking run. Yeah, we didn't even talk about a uh, overhead break line. So. No, we didn't. That was last season's theme, though. We got a new, new theme this season. Yeah, we got new prop bets we got to make. Yeah, you got DraftKings involved, you know, make. You know, going into an area where it's legal to bet on pool. That would be actually pretty great. If we yeah, got we could, draft we could set up, up uh, pool bets all over the place. If anybody knows anybody that works at DraftKings? Yeah. <laughs> and only do it where it's jurisdictionally legal. True. We don't condone any kind of illegal activities. Uh. Nisi, I believe the score is 13 to 9. So 12. To me, and I don't know if this is true, but maybe I, I think that uh, James and Thomas seem like they're complicating some of the shots a little too much for each other. Yeah, Nisi had obviously posted that score once the game was over. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect. As long as he doesn't have angle on this, that's just beautiful. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like the angle is going away. This though? I think you can hold it, but you're still going to leave kind of a weird angle. Cool. I draw back for the combo. Oh, shit. He's, I guess he asked him. He, said, he did look up and talk to him a little bit. So Thomas, like, you want this combo? My combo? Not like yeah. that. Fuck it. Hold the dice. Catch back up. Hey guys, uh, get in there. Like the stream if you haven't. How do you normally see like Thomas? That seemed like he had a pretty good percentage of making combo shots. He's certainly giving it its uh, due effort right now. Don't want to hit this too hard though. Yeah, you do. There's no reason to hit it that hard. The hard is going to be Oh, this is weird. The cue ball's on the spot. That's the nine ball's going to get spotted. Here, Ryder likes the stream for Shady Kira. So, I guess they agreed to not spot the nine until a shot. Which is interesting. I'm Are they staying at the table? Yeah, actually, that's true. They did stay at the table. Huh. So they may have... They may have a rule that if you make it... Well, no. That's kind of a weird one. Because they made it early last time. Yeah, the last time they made it early, um, they made it on the 8-9 combo, but then they did not call it 9. But they made the 8, so the last ball was 9. So it yeah, so that so didn't matter. So this so is a little bit different. They're playing the... Uh, I don't know what rule set that would be. You know, I mean, that is actually... a a way that a lot of tournaments play now, or that if you make the nine, calling a college shot, that it doesn't spot till the end of your turn, or until okay. no balls left. So that seems. And then be... it keeps going. Well, I mean, because he didn't make another ball, though. He only made yeah, the, yeah. The, if you make a nine, it's it's a ball that you made, you slot it in, so you keep shooting. Like, yeah. Weird. So I don't think I've played by that rules. I think, I think there's the rules these days. Yeah, I think some tournaments are playing by these rules now. But I do like the idea that it doesn't spot until either you miss or all the balls are in. All the that's a good idea. And that's actually consistent with a lot of other games, like one pocket, straight pull. Like yeah, that. that's true. I mean, it's funny because you could play one pocket and say you owe five balls. And 
and you get and you then you five balls on the, on the staff. Once you shot all the balls in, that's it. Then you spot all five balls at once. And you continue from there. So yeah. Okay. Now they have to uh, make the aid and play a shape on the spot or spot shot. Let's pretend the spot's a nine ball. Yeah, pretty much. Put that cue ball right back where it's at right now. Oh, he's asking if he wants to shoot the side. I like leaving it in front of I don't know, like easier shape. Yeah, certainly. Um, I actually like going two rails. I can keep going on the side. Yeah, yeah, I like that shot. You yeah, really? He did over here. Over here. But it's a spot shot. Yeah, I've been making sure they get spotted properly. <laughs> it is his job. You're not supposed to ever spot your own shot. That is true. But I mean, in this case, I, I have a tendency of spotting it about three feet over to the right bottom. And then in the pocket? Pretty much. But hey, that's, that looks like it's on the spot to me. Perfect. Huh. Man, that, that was a good is, shot. Gotta get that chalk off. Yep, it's terrible. <laughs> that would be a terrible way of. Now, the interesting thing, if it hits the chalk, I would assume it's gone at that. The nine ball would get spotted. Yes. But it'd be gone at And they would not have shot it. All right. Well, we got to come back again. 13 10. 13 2 10. They're making some progress coming back, but it's just getting there. We'll take a minute. And somebody shut the door so hard it shook the camera. Yeah. Taking a break or? Uh, I don't know. I think somebody went to use the bathroom or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, it looks like, like one break. Yeah, a break might not might may not be a bad idea, honestly. Yeah, we can take it for a break. Yeah, it's good. All right, we'll see. Uh, Thank you. Back in a couple minutes. Yeah. He's got a commercial set up for you guys, and we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Okay. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. 
Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado. Welcome back. We're here. Yeah, we got a we got a guest appearance on the screen. Maybe. Maybe. Here's our guest guest commentator. Keeping the dogs around. Hi. My name is Baxter. Say hi, Baggy. This is the small clunky. We have two more bigger. Back, Baxter's got a got, his, got an appointment to get to. Unfortunately, he can't stay around. He's got to go get fried chicken. Fried chicken. All right, we are back in action. So yeah, Kyle. Um, the the rule of making the if you make the nine early, the, a lot of new tournaments are doing this. I actually like the rule, but the uh, if you make if you pocket the nine without calling it, then it basically stays down until you either miss, at which point it spots up, or you run all the balls out. There's no balls left. Then it spots up, and you continue shooting. So it's a good rule that it doesn't ever get in the way. Um, and it does take away early nines at that point. And uh, you're not going to be able to shoot a combination on that. It's a race to 20. It is race to 20 here. But we are well past the halfway mark. And... Uh, yeah, I, I actually like that rule. I like that rule better than most of the ones. Because it's amazing, like, you can shoot a shot, accidentally make a nine, get great shape, but then if it spots up, it might spot up right in the way. It may impede the shot. So, this way, it just keeps the game a lot, with a more natural feel to it. I mean, unless you're playing Texas Express rules, then that shit spots up. Yeah. But, like I said, if you go consistently with other games, uh, one pocket, great pull, in which you have a caught shot, things like that. Then you know, a caught shot game where the ball is spot up, where they have to. Uh, banks is the same way. Um, yeah, it doesn't ever spot until your your turn is over. Yeah. So. But you don't really see people playing Texas Express anymore. Kind of an older no, because, Yeah, because they all want to call the nine ball. 
<laughs> well, you didn't mean, yeah. Yeah, you, you call an eyeball, you're not playing Texas Express. Why don't you though. get to double up on your money quite a bit, though? <laughs> early night, early night. But yeah. Yeah, it's funny because now I wonder how many younger players even know what Texas Express codes are. I mean, if they've ever heard of it. Imagine that quite a few people know that one. Maybe more. No, I mean, being referred to it as Texas Express. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they may know the rules, they just don't know. Well, after the break, I'll be right back. After the break, it looks like Thomas and James Baker are trying to uh, put the bow on this last one for this game. Kind of, uh, kind of a pokey little stroke there. Didn't really get much on the cue ball. I could have, yeah, it could have gotten a lot more out of that shot than what he did. He may have wanted to just hold it down for that angle, but I still think he could have brought it a little closer to the eight. Now, I won't say because of it, but in that shot, James hits a harder and he has to add ouch. That is a really tough, tough way to go. Is going to bring it up to 1410. Devin racks these bowls. So, you guys have been watching. You guys have any opinions about the game? Is it sort of going the way you're expecting? You guys have any compliments? Maybe uh, other than out? You guys are sort of doing your own thing today? Today seems like a good day to have this on in the background, keep up with it. Nice relaxing game of uh, pulling your hair out. <laughs> so the funny thing is during the break, I went down and talked to the players for a second, asked Jonathan's playing. It's like, okay, how do you feel about it? And uh, well, thank you, Tim. Um, and uh, John said, oh, I'm playing awful. I'm just playing terrible. And right then, James comes downstairs, and I said, James, what do you think about it? And James says, these guys are on fire. So that gives you the uh, insight into what everybody's thinking right now. <laughs> Jonathan thinks he's just playing god-awful pool, and James thinks that, that uh, Devin and Jonathan are just lights out. Like everything else, it's somewhere in the middle. It's a nice confident stroke from... Uh, it's actually one of the better strokes I've seen from Thomas now. Maybe he's going to uh, settle down. James is not happy with this shot, though. I don't think he likes his angle. I'm not sure it goes by. It does. I don't know. He gave it a look like he just didn't like it. James is... James definitely seems to be a little uh, thrown off right now. But that can easily change somebody's deaths. He's back! Oh, Baxter's back? Oh, you're back. Yes, don't be too excited. I thought I'd be too excited. Did they get another rack? Uh, I already scored it. 14 to 10. Yeah, I think that is one thing I think Jonathan and Devin has probably improved since the last time they've really seen them. Uh, Devin definitely has. Yeah, well, it's interesting because Devin will go to play Monday nights in the student tournament, and James is there a lot. And I don't know why. It seems like uh, maybe the last couple of times Devin struggled a little bit. And so maybe James really hasn't seen Devin play well. You know, so maybe that's part of the problem is what little he'd seen of Devin is when Devin really wasn't on his game. Gotcha. It's always the best way to hustle. <laughs> that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a little inside. I mean, so there's, there's not too many inside shots you don't like, is there? 
What's wrong with liking inside English? There's nothing, nothing wrong at all. Matter of fact, stun with inside would be an awesome shot. <laughs> I'd be asking a lot, though. That's actually a good shot. That's nice speed. Yeah, he had good really speed good on angle. that. Um, it'd be better if he was left handed, but. See, now you got to put a little top inside in this. Because <laughs> you got to get on the short side of the six. Does it, like, by. No, does it go by the eight? It looks like it does. No, maybe it does. Up like it does. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Well, bottom, just a draw shot. Just enough draw to bring the angle out. And you know, just out a little bit. Yeah, five rows. But, as it turns out, it's a great angle. That is a good angle. As long as it goes by, he's got a great angle to go down. Draw down to the opposite corner. <laughs> wow. What did I say? Wow. What did I say? Well, he hit that ball really quick, really hard. Didn't go by the didn't go by the eighth. Yeah, well, not you know, that way it probably won't. I still think he did. I think it did go. Oh, maybe maybe it did. Maybe it did, but it didn't that time. He didn't he didn't hit it though. So he got lucky and he got unlucky. He's got a nice clean shot on the seven, but not a lot of fun trying to get on this eight well. Yeah, I think that's where he got in his head. I mean, it really didn't have, it didn't have to be that big of a trouble. You just keep a cool head and just make a nice smooth stroke. But it's weird how little things like that get in your head and suddenly forget how to remain calm and make a nice even stroke. Somebody saying thank you for, uh, for the internet. For the Wi-Fi. For the uh, For who this person is or what they're talking about. Mystery. Yes, it's a mystery person. That was Devin. I'll tell you what, if you guys have been to the shop here before, <laughs> you should, if you, and you haven't been here a while, you should come by. It is looking really good. John and Nisi has put a lot of work. Oh, there. lately? Oh, yeah. yeah they, well, I had a week uh, off of work, so. Well, it looks like they're gonna need a hit watch for this one. I think so. I think they're gonna thin it and keep it where it is and just put the cue ball down at the bottom of the rail. I don't think you need a hit watch at all. You just gotta make sure you don't scratch. Let's see that nine ball move just a hair. I the eight ball move a hair. Wow, that went a hair. That was a lot. Uh, I actually kind of like that though because uh, this makes it pretty difficult. Like you can't cut it in the side. And no. You can't really cut it down in the corner either. This this isn't a bad bank. No, no, no. It's definitely not a bad bank. I think the shape after the bank is kind of bad. Well, I think you just draw it. This is a straight draw shot. You may have to cut a little bit and then bring it out. I think the I think the draw with the bank though is gonna widen it a little bit. You really need to put top on this to make this bank work correctly. Yeah, he had two full. Yeah. So, I mean, I do believe that was uh, the better shot to take, but you got to know that you're going to be cutting it some. Devin's getting down. He's feeling. I'd say he didn't really get down confidently. It didn't look like he was confident when he got down. He took a lot of time, which is good. But, yeah, he really he overcooked that ball a little bit. I mean, it's still fine. This should be a, a maple shot. One thing I like about Jonathan's game, though, is how he really looks at all the shots, each of the shots before he gets down. Yeah, that's and definitely... He really sees it before he just shoots at one. Yeah, that's definitely a positive side for him. He does that on uh, almost every shot. Mm -hmm. Back up by five again, 15-10. I don't know, that angle, Kyle, it's hard to scratch. I mean, you could go two rails and scratch to the corner, but the best thing to do is never think about the scratch. Just look at the shot, see it, get an idea where the cue ball is going to go, and just shoot it. Yeah, the uh, there's sometimes when you need to think about the scratch, but uh, it'll be I mean, noticeable. If you're visualizing a shot and you see it scratching, if you're like, okay, this is going to scratch. It's like, yeah, don't shoot it. Don't shoot. <laughs> you just don't shoot it. Find another shot. 
But if you're thinking, okay, this shouldn't scratch, but I could scratch, now you're thinking about the scratch, and you're telling your brain to scratch. Whether you like it or not, that's what the brain is hearing, scratch. All I hear is scratch. Okay, I can do that. Here we go. Let's scratch it. I can do it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Brain says stop. I say, no, brain. You don't know what's going on. They're still, they're still having a little bit of problems controlling the cue ball on the brake. Yeah, they're, they're cute. Yeah, the cue ball control is a little bit off. They're getting, uh, making a ball and they're getting good spreads. But they're ahead right now. So. Yeah, they only need five more games. Five to ten. This is this match is the biggest it's lead. A rough split. So far. Exactly what Johnny's got in mind here. See, that's the thing about me. I don't ever think about playing the eight in the corner and playing the cue off the corner <laughs> of the pocket and bring it down so then the two comes back down table, you're leaving that angle. See, that's 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 why I don't play on stream. I don't I can't see shots like that. I don't think he saw something like that either. <laughs> to be fair. Now at this point you play. I do see you go, playing that six ball right now, though. You go around the six. You go between the six and the rail. You're aiming a small spot three, for that. Three thing. rails comes by. Uh, let's see if it comes that way, you might be able to get away with going around the seven, and shooting it uh, in the pocket that Devin's queuing over. Let's go. Or you could play the bank. What's the fun in that? What? I like going around the six. I thought we had a fun shot for the fans. Well, now you get a fun draw shot for the fans. He's going to shoot that aside and just go up and down. Comes James up. Yeah, I think James shoots this inside. Well, he did two out of three, right? Going towards the side and going up and down. Actually, he hit that firm. He undercut that ball, so if he had made it, that cue ball would have been even further up. Yeah, it would have really over hit that. Mm -hmm. Jonathan with his big shoes coming up to the table. All right, here's one for the fans. Super draw. Ball outside. A few rails. <laughs> no, this is I definitely down this, or I back. See ball, I see the ball arc. Really arc the ground. Going Earl Strickland here. That ain't no damn draw. Oh man, he I yeah, yeah, he, he meant to do that. If he drew, I think he didn't. I think he just didn't get enough draw on it. No, I, I don't I think, think he that's what did. he was going for. It may not have been, but he put a lot of outside on that ball. You put a little mustard on it. Oh, that was interesting. So fine. You can't go like the fine one pocket. Well, no, actually, the, the double kiss even brought it out. You can't. I don't. When you're that close to the rail, you can't really hit on the far side of the ball because you're just going to double kiss. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of trying it. Yeah. Like, we're all guilty of you trying it. Trying, but, it may, it may but it ain't never going to change no matter how many times you try that. <laughs> Next time, it may not double kiss. Who knows? We'll find out. I don't know. There's that, like a small part in your brain that says, this will go. <laughs> Think well, of that little part of your brain, lady. Like, how big it all the eight, it'll go. Holy shit. Is that the eight ball or the four ball? That's, that's why you have Thomas for a part. Thomas is, is very noted for shots like that. That's a good one. Yeah, it was. Well, oh, man, I wish I wish I could spend like. 15 seconds in your brain just to see the circus. <laughs> <laughs> no more than that, though. I'd have to get out to have an escape. James over here a little bit. But he got shape. Well, he can see the ball. It's the important part. Yeah, I mean, I think he's fine. Let's see anything wrong with this right now? Maybe a touch of outside. Forget the outside and go through the uh, nine ball. I'm not really sure what the idea was there. 
I think he thought he could actually hit it and go past just by stunning it past. Uh, but I didn't think. Uh, I didn't think so. I thought you had to put a little bit of outside. Just that's that's what I was thinking too. A little bit outside to get there. Uh, this kind of leaves like a tough shot, but hey, at least you don't have to really do anything special here. Just let it roll forward a little. Mm -hmm. He played it right, got the shape, got the shape for the side, mm -hmm. but he just misses. Like I said, these, you know, I'm not saying that James and Thomas are like great, great players, but this is very uncharacteristic for them to miss like this. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm really surprised. You did my shot, right? You guys know? I have no idea. Devin, uh, Devin thinking twice about this shot. Who broke this game? I don't know what happened, Kyle. I don't know I think I what caused him to sort of get up and miss that. No, he's on the rail. Mm -hmm. Like he maybe tried to cheat the pocket a little bit, don't make no, the ball better. <laughs> yeah, he may have just not been cut for the rail. So we're having a discussion here. Oh, okay, we're trying to figure out who shot it is. Uh, oh. Yeah. If he's going to come around or just go one rail up and down, he does go around. He steers it with his cue. Yeah, I'm not a fan of going around, but I know Jonathan's game enough that he likes that shot a lot better. So it's just a little, a bit of a draw shot. Just stay out of the pocket. Doesn't matter what anything else. Make the ball, get the cue out of the pocket. And there we go. Exactly like that. That was a good draw too. Mm -hmm. Nice little outside. Uh, Tuck it in towards the ball. At this point, I think I can get up from here. I feel confident about this. <laughs> I think about 60-40. And it's in the hole. There you go. And this is the biggest lead. Yep, that we've had so far. And they went from under to over. Yeah, they went from down. How far down were they? They're only two games. Three, two or three. Yeah, two, I think. I think two down. And then just, bam, up five. And then Thomas and... James will close again on them. They got within two. Deep. Made it look easy. And then uh, here we are, six up. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today, by the way. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming out for the stream. Glad you Always a pleasure to have everybody here. And guys, uh, glad you guys hung out. Yeah. You've been glad everybody stuck around for a while. Yeah. And I'm glad that we're also on a few uh, bar TVs right now, too. Yeah, I'm... Uh, Yeah, I'm wondering, uh, we're still on at Q's. I wonder if they're playing on YouTube. Do you remember? I don't know which one they're playing on. Yeah. Peter made it pretty hot in here, though. Mm -hmm. The main heater you got. I thought you were going to plug it in out there, honestly. You mean my jet heater? Yeah, your jet engine, your jet turbine. My jet turbine. Diesel turbine. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to put it in there. And I thought it would be too loud to put it down there. Oh, uh, you're probably right. So, TV shot here. Looks like a safety. Looks like a TV shot to me. Oh, shit. Right in the hole. Apparently it was. Or maybe it was a safety. <laughs> <laughs> I Honestly, I don't know. I mean, the cue ball only played like a save. To... <laughs> I think that was meant to be a safety. No. Pretty sure. I don't think you meant to make that. I mean, he hit it straight in the hole. <laughs> yeah, it kind of did. Is Thomas living in Georgia? I don't know if he's living in Georgia. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. His... But he, he visits a lot. He's he's in and out of town quite a bit. So, you know, you make a you can make plans with him. He's looking for the nine combo? I think so. I mean... I guess he thinks, like, it's uh, going to be safe, like, even if he misses, right? I think he, he maybe think he's got a good enough lead 
And if you can just go ahead and make it, that extends the lean of not, you know, no real harm done. Didn't really draw it back enough for the safe, but. No, but I think, I think that's, I mean, when you have this, a lead like this, you start getting a lot more confident. Just put the pressure on. Yeah, but I mean, it allows you the, the freedom to take a little bit longer shots. And like I said, if they go in, then that really boosts your confidence even more. Yeah, if so, they don't, they can start carrying you down after a minute. Yeah. That's a good shot. Yeah. Well, we're just saying, right in the friggin' side pocket. What we're saying, just, that, that was a great shot. Other than the side pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's tough to sit here, guys, on the microphone, knowing that you have so much power. Yes. You have so much influence over the game. <laughs> and it's never for good. It's like constantly with the monkey paw. <laughs> All right. Yep, Jonathan's doing his uh, trademark. Hey. Take a look at everything. By the way, Chris, um, we were talking about you earlier. I guess you weren't around or weren't listening. Uh, do, you, do you play one pocket? It was oh, yeah, he disappeared. Inquiries. Did he leave again? I don't know. He might still be here. There's some inquiries on whether you play one pocket. It doesn't actually tell us he's like still here. So. What platform is that? Facebook. It's Facebook. Yep, this looks weird on the screen. What's that? Not sure. Yeah. I think that's a page. So maybe Chris Burbage is actually a page. Oh. Instead of an account. I do not see him in the chats. So he may have gotten back off. I don't know. Good shot. Kyle is coming up with ideas of revolutionizing one pocket. Can't wait for that uh, that thesis to come out. Uh. So most people, I think, would draw this out. I think that's probably the best okay, place. That's, that's well, yeah. I'm just wondering. What surprised me if he insists with inside. But that is the sort of the standard shot. The shot. Yes. Yep. Well. Did the eye lift me? Devin is taking his time. It's really taking his time to make sure he gets down on the shot right. See? Yes. And that is a nice shot. Can have worked yeah. That's sort of the, the speed I was talking about that nine ball you have earlier. You can put it that sort of soft into the rail. Let slide in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, got me a tea. Uh, what are they doing? Are they taking a break? No, I don't think so. Hey, John, where'd you get the giant ice cube? Okay. Okay. So, Thank you. Does not have this. I'm getting on that train. <laughs> I think my family actually probably thinks that I do cocaine just because I joke about it so much. Oh. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure my nephews do. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to. Coke. Christmas. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask for the cocaine. What's wrong with you? Why, 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 why are you not? How are you not? For the record, I've never done cocaine. <laughs> I think like the worst thing that I've probably ever done is probably to smoke weed. I think that's probably the worst thing. Kids, remember, if you're going to commit crimes, or if you've done crimes, don't admit it over the internet. I lived in Oregon at the time. Well, I didn't say that was a crime for you. I'm just saying. Yeah, in general, point. Yes, don't admit crimes on the never internet. Never admit crimes. And, and certainly do not film yourself doing crimes and post it on the internet. Self-snitching. Yes. No self-snitching. No. Still having a little problems controlling the cue ball. I don't my my not-a-cop buddy said, unless you really want to, it's really cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, interesting. I don't think he pushed that out as much as he wanted to. <laughs> yeah, they just gave him right. Actually, I think he pushed out pretty well because you can see it now. Can't do much with it. I think. Actually, I think you don't give it back. You just push it to the rail. Oh, it hit it a lot harder than I was thinking. I was just thinking you just push it to the rail and keep the cue ball down on the opposite rail. He's just trying to get Maybe. some distance. Yeah, well, he achieved that. Of course, now we might get a little action on the nine ball. You can get some action on the nine ball right here. Right. It looks like the nine ball might be a little yeah, too far. He just called it. Oh, he did? Yep. He just called it. I mean, you go for the shot, but you hit it with a draw stroke, and it's like, just have at it. Mm -hmm. so it definitely does go. That, you have to draw. Might actually make the two. I mean, if you don't make the two, it's actually pretty natural. He hit a little two square. Uh, you think that's a little bit of frustration from that shot? Well, I think, I think, I think he just locked up the fucking. I, th block. I think he is a bit frustrated with himself now. He is really not happy with his performance. Yeah, he didn't look like he really took much time on that shot. He just kind of got down and shot it. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm a firm believer. If you're the type of player that gets down a shot and just shoots it, your game, man. Yeah. But play, play the game the way you want. But it definitely shows in some players. It's yeah. taking much more time earlier. Yeah, I think I do think though that it's at the very least it, it reduces a lot of your potential. But I don't know. If it I don't know if it reduces potential. I think it's just like the way some people's brains work compared to like other people's. I understand that. I just think that you're. Depriving yourself of certain, literally, the fact that your uh, opportunities, you're you're not really filling your toolbox up. You're not allowing your toolbox to get filled up because you do that. There's aspects of the game that you're sort of not allowing yourself to really take advantage of. You need to find toolbox. Yes, you made the tools go in. No, I mean, it's, you know, it's, 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 I mean, it's certain shots that you, there's certain shots that require a lot more effort, a lot more focus. You can't just get down and hit. I mean, there's certain shots that you can There's a certain stroke that has a certain nuance, and you have to be aware of that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And if you always play with a, with a quick game, just get down. You're you're doing repetitions is what you're doing, and you're you're working off the repetitions that you already have, but you're not developing new, new ones. New ones. But I think everybody like when they get on those kind of shots. I think just about everybody kind of stops and smells the roses for a couple of seconds. That was a great shot. Times. But if you if you're not used to doing it, if you don't know how to do it, then the brain starts working. You start getting all these other thoughts in your brains, and then it gets clustered and 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 a lot of stuff going on that's preventing you from actually paying attention to the shot. Yeah. So once again. Yeah, but this, I think this goes back to Kyle. What goes on that Kyle said when he shoots? Uh you, there's there's a you think that something goes on? Oh there's a there's a circus. I mean it'll be gone in two minutes, don't get me wrong. Apparently uh Devin is saying that we did not that you didn't score a seventeenth game. Let's take a look. Devin is in chat. Welcome, Devin. Welcome, Devin Adam Anderson, to chat today. Chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Devin. Yeah, Devin, you better be subscribed. That is definitely a win. Is verifying whether the other game was a win or not. Let's see if the score is right. I hate to tell you this, buddy, but you're actually, it was only 16. <laughs> yeah, we did. Was it an early night? No. Yeah, 
Seven minutes. Okay, he's right. You're right. Damn it, right. They actually have 18 wins right now. Uh, no, I believe it's 17, because they won that last round. It should be 17 oh. to 11. Yeah, 17 to 11. Take the phone now. Okay, now that we got Devin's phone here, let's take a look. Let's see what, uh, let's see what we can find on Devin's phone. text message we got. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like Kyle's like yes scores verified dot 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 no idea Devin could be right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the difference between joining and subscribing. That might be a easy question. Joining and subscribing. Ah, uh, so if you go to Facebook, it's a join button. If you go to YouTube, I think he's asking it's what's the subscribe benefits. Button. Like him. Uh, there's no different. There's no benefits. No. There are loads of benefits. If you do both, there's benefits. There's tons you of will benefits. be blessed with good luck and what, good and, fortune. And, and there's a lot of Easter eggs <laughs> and a lot of hidden wonderful things that's going to happen when you least expect it. Truth. So as long as you don't expect anything to happen, you'll be good. <laughs> it helps out. It, it helps support the stream um, in a way that requires no monetary support. Um, it helps the algorithms so that the more people that get subscribed, the more people who like when he gets back on, we do another stream that is going to get promoted through the algorithms better and people have a better chance of seeing it. And if you guys so, ever feel like it, we also have the stars active now, which we haven't yet to get any stars. So if anybody wants to be our first person to give stars on the stream, have at it. Um, no, there is. That was a good save. There is no, uh, no, no Fargo rating with this match at all. Uh, no Fargo rating. I mean, people. Some of these people do have Fargo rates, but yeah, they're a little off. And of course, I mean, they're always allowed to slot the match too if they choose to. Yep, yep. We always allow slot That is going to be yeah. wow. very lucky. But then the nine ball is weird tied up. Yeah. Can't tell. Looks like the three ball might go though. But you got a really good, really good spot there. Oh, the five ball, sorry. Five ball might go. Oh no, I think the five ball's fine, actually. Because you just gotta shoot the four. Five goes in the corner, is what it looks like. And where's the corner going to go? Other corner. Yes. Getting on the four from the three might be a little bit tricky, but. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be an interesting puzzle to solve here. Oh, we almost made that. Or the puzzle will just gets solved right about now. Kind of. Or it just brings, it work. brings in a different puzzle. <laughs> brings a new puzzle. I always like it when my puzzles turn into we different puzzles. puzzles. Oh, Transformer yeah. puzzles, my favorite. <laughs> More than welcome to come by, man. Let's see. By the way, if you guys do not know Tim Abel, he does make chalk holders. Oh yeah, shout out to Tim custom, Abel. Custom custom chalk holders for you guys well yep. woodworking. Yeah, he's been making a lot of them. He makes them out of uh, epoxy and wood. And they look actually really good. And he made some ghoul in the dark ones recently. And the ghoul oh, in the dark ones look pretty cool. Yeah, I actually have one of his knives in my house too. And his knife works really good. Yeah. So if you guys want, you can always message him on Facebook if you are interested in some of his work. Really nice look, though. Good, good yeah. looking stuff. Does a good job. We call him the uh, nine bolt. I'm about to call the nine because that actually had a pretty good angle to go in. It'd be a good way to sort of turn things around. Of course, he might have thought that he would hung up the nine and sold out the game. Doing hand sanding. I 
Does that mean you're sanding your own hand? Because what I've seen in the past, you like to do a lot of weird things to your hands while you're doing this stuff. So be careful. <laughs> be careful when he does it. Oh no, did he just get safe again? Uh, he did. They are getting but... some lucky safeties right now. Kane Martin liked the stream. Appreciate it, Kane. Oh no, he wasn't even hooked. Oh yeah, he wasn't. I was wondering when Kane was going to show up. There he is. He's usually around at some point. He's here now. I think we need to get ourselves a selfie pot in this room. Yeah. I think the place smells pretty good. I like the coffee. I know, right? Hey, Martin. Ooh, that would be an interesting match. Kane, what do you think? You and Chris Burbage. Chris Burbage has signed up. He's registered on the app. That would be a pretty interesting game, now I think about it. One on one? Cade Martin and Chris Burbage. It'd be tough. We. Red player production to we oh wait. Road player productions got the chat going. Yes. By themselves. I'm doing a lot of replying. James, there you okay. Go. Now do you I guess oh, you, you just combo the nine. Pretty I hate playing an eight nine combo. No, like I really do. Like I despise playing a eight nine combo. I mean, if it's what you got, it's what you got. It's what you got. But <laughs> something that feels something that feels like you're off. I left it as good as you can. Yeah, yeah, you don't get better than that. Calls and on. You don't hit this hard. There's no reason. Just nice and just stroke them. It's like, wow. I just do not like that stroke. <laughs> I mean, you saw it jarred a little bit. It, it, it punched. Fell, he punched it. Yeah, he punched it. If, if it stays up because you punch it that hard, it's, they're going to draw into it. You roll it in, it's going to fall. That's when your teammate gets mad at you. What? That's when Chris Burbage wonders if he's being dumped. <laughs> Yeah, uh, obviously, you just do like Devin. This Devin, Devin just hops in chat while he's playing. Well, what's up, guys? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Well, he wants to know if we're talking shit about him. Oh, giving him good ideas or something. <laughs> oh, that's true. He's listening to. Uh, listening. He's trying to treat like timeouts since he can't hear us up here. He's <laughs> keep his earbuds in. That would be, now. That would be. That would be kind of cheesy. Yeah, that would be a little <laughs> suspicious. We might have to delay it by five minutes. Like, suddenly Devin's waiting for five minutes to shoot. We could put a delay on it, but then we can't keep up with the chat as good. Oh, no, no. I was kidding about that. I was kidding about that, but it would be funny. Like, Devin, Devin's taking a long time. He's in the tank. It's oh, he did exactly what I just said to do, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It is funny, though. I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, streaming and stuff like that. When people are streaming their games, like if you look at chess games, and so somebody who they're <laughs> playing is actually ghosting, and then uh, once the player thinks they're ghosting, they'll say, oh, while they're doing their analysis, like, oh, wait, never mind. If they move the rook over here, then they, uh, they're they going to take the, you know, they're, they're, I'm going to be in trouble. And then suddenly the rook moves over there, and the guy check, check makes them like two moves. Because <laughs> he's like fell in a trap. He's like, I caught you. That's I caught what you ghosting. That's the thing in uh, uh, live streaming video games. Mm -hmm. Like people will sit there and like watch your stream, oh, and then yeah. they'll fucking pop out of nowhere and like shoot you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like it's what? How did he even know I was there? 
Call of Duty is really bad about that. There's so many people that stream like Call of Duty and stuff though. Oh yeah. So much money in it, so why wouldn't you? Well, a lot of those girls on there get paid a shit ton of money for streaming, which is crazy to me. Is that is that why you put us in a small corner? Because you're hoping that you know we're gonna put a lot of all, in all here. Women are, all women are like, oh, I'm just here to watch the guys. <laughs> it's all. It's our fine-tuned head of hair. Yeah. Yeah. So if viewership goes down, we have Nisi in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. We'll have Nisi in here. <laughs> I don't know. I could say what I had in mind, and I'd say, "All right, guys, it's been it's been good commentating for you guys all." Oh, you gonna put a bikini on? <laughs> if you guys make it to my wake, that's fine. <laughs> if we get a hundred thousand subscribers, I'll, I'll do the stream yeah, in a bikini. I swear. Exactly. <laughs> delete, 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 delete. Ah. Uh. Somebody has stolen. Apparently, road players got helped. <laughs> <laughs> it's a team sport. Oh. Nice little draw. All right, so February CSI tournament. There is a tournament coming up in Las Vegas. So, do you think it would be worth it? To go play in the CSI and stream the CSI as you as we play, because I can't play, I can't play in the gold division anymore. So, well, you're not qualified this year. Yeah, right? I'm not qualified for BCA, so I'd have to play in the CSI. Right. What's your What's your frog at these days? Five fifty flat. Yeah, you'd be gold still, huh? Yes, it'd be gold. Yeah. No platinum for me, baby. Speaking of which, I mean, I don't know what you're going to do for commentating, but people stream their matches all the time now. We're up. I mean, they do the tripod. Oh, at uh, BCA? The biggest, the biggest, yeah, they, you know, I mean, it's obviously the commentary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they'll stream it. I mean, we could stream and, ours. And, maybe, and then somebody might be sitting there with it, keeping up the score and just typing the score as they go. But Yeah, yeah I've seen that before. More, yeah, it's a lot more common now. That's what, uh, what was that guy's name? Yomar? Not Yomar. Uh, what was that guy's name that played against Bernardo? That's what they were doing on his. Oh, were they? Yeah. They were just typing in in the chat as he was playing. Hmm. That was pretty funny, though. They're live streaming their match, and Bernardo looks at him and says, Hey, do you want to play pool or do you want to not? <laughs> you, if, you, if you don't want to play pool, you don't want to play. Yeah. Don't come here if you don't want to play pool. Because <laughs> he can't. So, what happened in this was uh, Bernardo, they were in the finals, and uh, Bernardo. Yeah, playing eight ball, and his opponent started uh, safety breaking on him, and he's a pretty. That? Uh, that's the that's the heater turning back on. Turning back on. Yeah, yeah, it's got a temperature setting on it. So the so his uh, opponent starts it's safety breaking like on him. Left off is that what's going on? Yeah, that's the jet, turn from a jet the turbine, bro. Is that a jet turbine or is that the space shuttle now? Uh, both. So, wow. All right. So anyway, back to Bernardo playing it. But uh, Bernardo is getting safety break on. He looks over at his opponent. He's like, "You want to play? You want to play pool, or you don't want to play pool, man? You got to make your mind up." Bernardo was just killing that guy, though. But that guy was actually a pretty high, uh, pretty good player. Yeah, but yeah, but Bernardo was just torturing him. Yeah, his, he was, was just doing these crazy, barely hitting safety breaks. Which might have, now that I'm thinking about it, like uh, I realized this after they played. Some of those breaks might have been illegal breaks. Like, I don't think some of them were legal. Because he broke them so soft, I don't think enough balls hit the rail. Yeah, I don't know. I think Bernardo cared. Because I think Bernardo pretty much knew he was going to outplay him anyway, which he did. That's a nice shot. That's a nice confidence for job. But Bernardo was not playing with like, any safety in that. No. He was like, you I gave me one ball. Yeah, he played I'm going to try to break this out the best that I can. <laughs> wow, why I put it outside? Wow, yeah. I mean, you're fine. He's fine. So kind of it's easy to get on the ball from there. It's pretty. Um, but yeah, they. Uh, but it, it's funny because he was doing the soft breaks. And Bernardo, yeah, the game went long. Bernardo won, and then the guy finally got frustrated and just started doing upper breaks, and Bernardo just killed him. Whoa! Yeah, 
I feel living a little dangerous, Jonathan, but that's that game out. We didn't miss any other wins this time, did we? No. Nope. Neither. Yeah, it'd be nice to see him play again. He's a really good player. I wonder if he gets to play much now where he's at anymore. By the way, Jerry's talking about, uh, who is he talking about? He was talking about, uh, Laura, John Moore. John Moore's been playing really well, by the way. Lately? Yeah. Yeah, he's been really high level. But yeah, he's talking about how John Moore put a five pack playing 10 ball, and that is not easy to do. Oh, no, not a 10 ball. It's tough to make ball on the break and get in shape and have a lot of, uh, but it's been the one. It's very impressive. It depends on what table you're playing on, too. But yeah, John Moore has been playing jam up lately. A neon pool ignite. What the hell is a neon pool ignite? Sounds like uh, the old uh, cosmic. You glow in the dark walls and shit? They have that. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it in two different places. One used to be in Lawrenceville years ago. Poor Ray Molly lasted a, maybe a few months. Really? It was a like, converted grocery store. It's a huge space. Damn. Tons of pool tables. They had a spe special room for their cosmic pool, which is basically it's a pool table with a special black cloth, and then you have black lights over it, and the balls are all glowing the dark. Oh, shit. Sure. And you put um, you put something underneath the rails that gives it a glowing lighting effect underneath it, too, so you can see it better. It's, I mean, it's nice. The table plays like dog shit. <laughs> the balls play terrible. It's just a nice novelty, but... Nobody, no serious player is going to ever play on it, but... I mean, I play on it. It's for the hell of it. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was a fun novelty. I've seen it in two different places. But it's amazing how, you know, you have the concepts like that work in bowling. Because I don't know how much they do it now, but... I'm sure they do it still, but... It's never translated to a pool. It's one of those things, like, it sounds like a great idea. Until reality shows up. It's, it doesn't cooperate sometimes. I think you wanted to be a little further down there. I think it's going to be a good stroke. This is kind of Devin's, Devin's alley that makes a shot. That yeah, was a good he stroke. Likes, he likes those kind of shots. That long stroke. Um, yeah. It's, that's hitting Devin's wheelhouse a lot more. This is going to be a little awkward though. I'm going to say you just make this ball hit low center ball. Make it to stay down. Not going to get great shape. Not going to miss Q. I think he could get pretty, get pretty good shape on this. He's kind of out stretching so, a little bit, but I think see he's if he's good. getting a bridge or if he's getting an uh, extension. This is definitely an extension. I hope he's not going to try to use a bridge on this. But I mean, even if you even if you wanted to, you could play top inside on this. Yeah, now that was a weird night. Nisi and I played a pool of headlamps. headlamps. Oh god, just headlamps. And that's it. And that was that was weird. And that sounds like and, and Nisi tried to the shadows on the wall. Oh, oh yeah, and, and yeah, Nisi tried to uh, do a TikTok on him. There you go, three rails. Wow, that is crazy. I told you. I did you that like that? Did you get an extension for that shot? Yeah, you got an extension yeah. for that. Back a little further than you probably wanted on that. I think you really want to be like in the center of the table for this. Oh yeah. I think I think you can still cut this two rails. Oh no way. He's got somebody's up looks like the uh Yeah, my brain is not like this. These balls. Ooh. Came out looking great, though. Did come out looking good. You don't you get better than you got the shape. Well, that ball did not. Nope. Made an Efren, Efren shot on that. Looks like he was about to use Devin, top, and he went with bottom. <laughs> Devin, Devin is uh, about at his height right now. He's just comfortable. He's playing his speed. He's liking it. That is one thing that's weird about this this combination, Jonathan and Devin. Jonathan is a lot more methodical. He does take more time on shots. So 
it's a question of whether that breaks Devin up a little bit. Like right now, Devin does does even he's not even aware of something. He just knows when it's his shot, he gets up, does his thing. It's pulling the hole. And it works out. You gotta wait till he shot the hole before I say anything. On the hill. Yes. We are on the hill here. This game has sped up a lot. It has. I'm kind of surprised. I'm surprised I've got such a lead right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would have. That's a, was that a freaking run? Mm -hmm. You guys, you guys paying attention? Way. Somebody who, should have paid attention. Who was paying attention out there? Yeah, we're so, not paying attention. Yeah, we, we have no idea what we're doing at this point. At least we're not drunk on stream anymore. Yet. Oh, yes. Yet. No, it's not over. The season's still early. Season. <laughs> I mean, it's, we got it's, like, it. it's like we have to have one night of sweets. Or we did get it. We, we, we got to get a meal for something. So like at some point in the stream, I'm sure we'll be just fine. I don't know when. It seems it have to be one week at least. One week. It's like completely unloaded. No, Ben. Ben says it's not over yet. Oh, he's back. So we might have a match for you. Yeah, Ben's hearing a fat singing no. We're trying to get somebody to agree to a match with you. Yeah, and uh, Chris got on earlier, and he got off in a hurry. So. There was somebody else that was going to play on this stream that was really high level, though, that we couldn't find a match for. He lives in Alabama. Oh, Alabama? Uh, I remember Mike. Yeah, Mike. No, he's in Florida. He was living in Alabama. I, he was living yeah. in Florida. But we had a hard time finding a match for him. Uh, I know he plays some one pocket. I think there you go. He plays a lot of one pocket. Hey, Chris, do you play a one pocket? I would imagine Mike would play one pocket. He seems like he plays a lot. I mean, I know I, I, I've played in one pocket, but I don't think he really plays enough one pocket. This level. Oh, uh, gotcha. Uh, Mike Jones. How do you, how do you think? Jones? Yeah, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. How do you think that matchup would go? You think that would be a good matchup? Um, I don't know. I haven't really seen Mike play in a while. I mean, I've heard he's been playing really, really well. Chris Burbert just said that he does not play one pocket. And can you guys go back in the tape earlier when I said when, you know, when I asked if Chris Burbage plays one pocket, he would say that he doesn't play one pocket? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I did say that. I don't play one pocket, but I, I gamble a little. I don't play one pocket, but I'll try it once. You know what I mean? I'll try anything once. Oh, wow, he just missed that. <laughs> they were three balls away from victory and just missed that. Yeah, I mean, I guess I understand not having patience for the game, but, man. You're missing out. I mean, the way you play the pool as well as you play. Oh, there he is. You're missing a lot of Know it. how to, just yeah. don't have the patience. Oh, John's fine. Did the John's egg. Oh, on, bro. I'm watching the game. Uh, it's got to happen once. Uh, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the stream without it. No, no. Yeah. Well, it's already uh, got, it's already like, oh, no, no, no. You, you, know, you got a lot of money. I'm just sitting here. But yeah. Oh, that was an interesting unorthodox. So, Devin finds it much more amusing than Jonathan probably does. <laughs> but that's all you can do. Something like that happens. You just laugh at it. Yep. You laugh at it, you move on. Don't get mad. No, there's no reason. Mad will just kind of throw you off. Yeah. Just laugh at it say, okay, that was just stupid mental error. I'm not going to do it again. I'd play Mike Jones on stream if he wanted. That'd be a good deal. Yeah. I can ask him. He and I talk every once in a while, but it's been a little bit since I've said anything to him. I figured Nisi would commentate the uh, one pocket and her opinions on the shot. That would be, be a pretty interesting uh, commentary for one pocket. That would be entertaining. Because, I mean, who's going to be mean to Nisi? Like, I would do it, and I would say all sorts of stupid, you know, made up stuff. And people would come on to me and be like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. 
that know we care about one person. Easy get on and say something, right? Oh, she's just adorable. <laughs> you're right, Easy. I could see that. To be honest. I saw what I would do, but yeah, you're fine. There you go. Nisi said that she cannot. She's volunteering Ben. <laughs> Left him a little bit more angle than he probably wanted right here. Yeah. But I think he's still fine. Take a long time on this shot. Well done. See, lining up for shots like that, I like to take a little bit. Like, I'd rather hit a little too hard than a little too soft. Because I feel like hitting a little too hard, I have a lot of room for her. I just, I was starting to worry that it would be one of those snake long, big wrong type situations. Oh, God, yeah. I, so you gotta be you gotta be careful on some of that stuff. I don't pull the trigger until you see it. But yeah, Chris, I'll, I can ask a I can ask Mike tomorrow or something. Yeah, we we have I've got Mike's number too. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit about so. That would be great. I'd love I that Mike awesome. here. I, had, uh, I was trying to find a match for him like last season, but I just couldn't find anybody that would play yeah. him. Now, of course, you gotta keep in mind that he's gonna be coming to Florida, so it's gonna have to be worth his while. That is true. Oh, get get your stuff together, get your backers together, whoever. But yeah, it'd be it'd be it would probably be one of the higher definitely one of the higher rated ones. Oh god, yeah. yeah. Now that would be interesting. If you find yourself a partner and then played Scotch Doubles against Mike Jones and uh Anthony Green. I mean, I don't care about the results. That would be entertaining. <laughs> that would be entertaining. <laughs> who's uh, who's Chris's partner going to be? Who cares at that point? Mike Green's his brother. He and his brother. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I'm just saying, in the entertainment wise, oh my goodness, that would be just just awesome. Oh, he ran into that two ball. I mean, that that would be awesome for us as commentators. Because we wouldn't have to do anything. We could just sit here and watch, and the chat would be one so much that we're like, well, let them do it, whatever. Yeah, let them, we just let them have the chat. We, 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 should just, we should just make a... We can. I mean, we can make it to where the chat actually reads. Well, that's what I was going yeah. to say. So, yeah, we get an AI in there to read at different voices. <laughs> just let them you know, do that, and we could just sit actually, and watch. I do have voice AI. We could put uh, like, I don't know, something like Wesley Snipes' voice up there or something to see what, to see what happens. Let's see who would who would do Nisi's voice? Uh, Nisi's voice. Oh, we, wait, what? Yeah, who? Which which AI voice? Would oh, you, you want to you want to pick out like uh, we could put like uh, what's his name? His name. Like, oh. oh yeah, definitely. That's, I think it'd be funny. Okay. We'll make all the guys girl voices. Danny DeVito. That's who I'm thinking of. Are you thinking Danny DeVito? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, well, Jonathan Splane has a ball in hand. Balls in hand. Three's not super hard to get on. Yep. Yeah, Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll hit we'll con contact him and see uh what's the price to play yeah we gotta give jerry a, like that that cigarette and whiskey voice oh 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 i know who's gonna do uh jerry's voice i got perfect voice who's uh i'd be too old for you but b arthur b arthur i don't b. know arthur. the voice you don't know b arthur i know b arthur i don't know the voice i know who it is i don't know my name See if Jerry's old enough to get that one. Smoke. Can we put somebody's voice as David Goggins? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about half a pocket. No, probably about three quarters of the pocket. Why don't we make a Nisi's voice David Goggins? I think that'd be great. David Goggins. Yeah, about three quarters of the pocket, I think. Six hundred per still. person? Oh no, no, no. You're a little you're a little too low on that one, Kyle. No offense. <laughs> Well, maybe not Danny Avino. <laughs> he, might, may, he, might be he might do it that cheap. <laughs> this is going to be the shot here. 
Oh, that's nice. I'm just kind of here. Yeah, he has, he's going to be reaching, though. That's the only problem with the shot. He's going to be stretching. The angle is good to spin around for the... Uh, oh, oh, is he thinking about doing the combo? Yeah, he's thinking about the combo. I don't like the combo. No, I don't either. I think you can draw yeah. underneath those balls and just play the eight the same pocket. I know, and then just go two rails, come up for the nine. Depending on the angle, but yeah, the nine shouldn't be any problem getting shape on. Like, he's playing for the combo. He's, he's, he's playing for the combo. Shit, I would even... I would. I would even probably opt into running it to it. Well, yeah, uh, some of those ideas, but then again, he's not shooting a combo. What does he care? It's not his problem. That's a good point. At least Jonathan's shooting a combo. Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. They can blame him if he messes it. I guess they're so far ahead, too, right now that it's kind of like yeah, fucking in this. Right. Brad Liz. Yeah, this will look like Jonathan's super happy with this. No, I think he's just focused. I mean, he's really trying to zero in on the shot. I think he is just really pin, really lasering in on the spots. I think I really like his chances here. Take his time, and he hit it hard. He almost made the A ball. Every combo, everybody's hit so hard <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> And it's like, it's I guess really like, that one you could have got away with hitting way softer because yeah. the eight ball you really wanted to stop on the rail anyways. Well, and not just that. I mean, think about it. you're shooting an eight nine combo. If you miss a combo, regardless, most likely you're losing the game. That was like most likely you've got to. Because he actually, actually gave him a really good shape for this eight you, ball to yeah, get on the ninth. Yeah, you leave control on the. Uh, oh, uh, gosh! Uh, so wow, he's just having a rough time. Yeah, yeah. Thomas just had a rough day today. Yeah, he is. That's it's really uncharacteristic of him to yeah, play like that. Evan decides to send the cue ball off to uh, oh a to the south pocket <laughs> land. Okay, all right. Uh, that's, that's that eight chart really slowed it down, like right in the nigga's time. <laughs> I thought he was going to be out in that. I mean, it's I it's like a he's gonna be shooting an LJ, but it's a little bit of a weird angle, but I think it's fine. No, this is just tapping. Wow, and he hits with trouble. That's it, folks. That is Looking exciting at the 20. end. <laughs> like, uh, doing that. 2013. That was a good match. Yeah. Well, I uh, went a little bit rougher than I thought it was gonna go, though. To be honest with you guys. Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is Road Player. Uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please join us again. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, like us. It really helps us out, and it also helps you out because you get to learn and see more about pool. We try to walk through like what's going on, on the table as much as possible. So you know. But uh, anybody that wants to congratulate them, we'll leave the stream up for a few more minutes, so you guys can congratulate everybody. You got anything to say? No, that's 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 that's. Other than uh, if you haven't liked, subscribed, get it in while you can. And if you want to donate to the stream, please just hit the stars button. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. Thanks a lot, guys.